Chew, 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 chew. I wasn't expecting us to come back. Hey, you're listening to the Opie and Anthony free play all week long on XM202. For the people that aren't paying for the channel yet, to continue to receive Channel 202 on your XM radio, you'll need to add Opie and Anthony to your XM account or call. Well, you can do that by calling 1-800-XM-RADIO or subscribe online. Best of all, hold on, kids. If you order this week, you'll get Opie and Anthony for the remainder of 2004 at no at no additional charge. Hurry, this special deal ends this Sunday. Whoa. It's like one of those things that you remember you, when you used to see commercials for uh, furniture stores and they would say, make no payments till next year. Yeah, yeah. And it was December. Yeah. Your payments start in a month. Yeah, exactly. It's really no big deal. There's no real savings. Just if you like the show, great. If not, what can I tell you? It's only $2. We're not going to sit here and beg you to listen to our program. We have enough listeners. I'm confident enough to uh, know that uh, people that do listen will enjoy it and uh, will come on board. And after all, it is a cult, so maybe it's not for you. <laughs> you know? It's kind of a little cult. It is a cult. A little culty. Maybe you just don't like wearing Nike sneakers. Yeah. Oh. And drinking uh, the juice. And castrating the Kool -Aid. yourself. And castrating yeah, you know. yourself. We all have done it, so sure we've all have. castrated ourselves. And quite frankly, I don't think you're going to get the show after a couple listens anyway. you got to listen a few times. A few times. Kind of get involved. Know the characters big soap opera know the zeros that make up the staff at the Opie and Anthony program yep Rich Voss is outside the studio I see that I told sure him to is. go back outside I go wait for your big introduction now that you're a big freaking star <laughs> let's just make him sit out there he has no idea what we're talking stiff, about look at those non-bending <laughs> fingers they just don't bend we're just going to make him sit out there he's getting all impatient he thinks we're doing it because he's a big star. No, we're doing it because you're an ass. <laughs> oh, he's going to hear that in a few seconds. I know, so quickly open the door and get him in here before he hears that part. <laughs> no, our buddy is outside the studio, Rich Voss. He's going to help us uh, today. Uh, there's a lucky listener that's going to win a MiFi, Anthony. We're lucky. giving away MiFis every week up up till Christmas. Oh, I can't. I can't be part of this. Why? It's going to be hot. What? Yeah, right there. No, no, he, no right there. No, he sits there. Oh. Let me just move my jacket so you don't what? Get his finger on it. Oh, yeah. oh. So basically, oh, we've been asking people what would they do for a MiFi. We got hundreds and hundreds of entries, and a few we like. Whatever happened to that girl that wants to have sex with a girl and a I guy? That might have been a gag. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. Well, that's yeah. too bad. Well, yeah. if you want to do Liar. something for a MiFi, it's not too late. Go to opianthony.com or foundrymusic.com. By the way, Foundry Music has a lot of great. Um, uh, video clips up uh, this morning. Hey, check those out. Kind of like an uh, an Opie and Anthony greatest hits video thing is going on a up there. Retrospective. Yeah. So. Boogers. I think I got some. No. You always oh, do. I can't. I I, I'm really going to be disgusted. I don't well, we've been get, we've been uh, taking entries for a week or two, and this one kid who's out there <laughs> came up with a great idea. There's a thing that's um, that happens behind Rich Voss's ear. <laughs> that was my idea. <laughs> What? This was my idea, not to hiss the guy out there. No, God, are you insane? insane? No, I said it on the air. No, the guy wrote in. He heard me say it and wrote him. Oh. You're not taking credit for this one. I know. What do you want to get a writing credit on this? It's not a big deal. So you No, I'm not it. saying it was a big deal. I'm just saying that that, that young man out there is Why can you have run him over with the truck? Why? I'm just saying. You should have I, run him over I like roadkill today. You jammed on the brakes. You that, jammed on the brakes and saved him and threw him back in the cab. That I think today man, we needed to run him over. That young man out there just... You're wrecking the whole flow of the show. All right. You're looking good, though. You lost weight. <laughs> he did, You're working out at the gym down... Uh, no, he isn't. He's got, he works out with a guy named Jim in his room. You, you look good, though. You did lose you weight. Know, Thank you. He did not lose weight. You don't think so? No, he's just wearing baggier clothes. No, I'm telling you. I did you. lose weight, right. He did. He lost weight. Do you weight. have a scale at your house, Jim? No, I don't. For he's what? not no. a complete spectacle anymore. <laughs> no, I don't. For what? You don't have XM radio yet because you're cheap and you're Jewish. Well, I'm not, I haven't oh. been around to get it. Of course, I'm not. Redundant I got, phrase I there. What are you talking about? I, I'm not cheap at all. I'm a high roller. Not Armani cheap. glasses, a coach wallet. I'm sitting with you know, $1,000 worth of lighters in my pocket. I'm going to go get worked on. 
What are you? Chief, I'm a, I'm a player now. You know? You're not a player. I'm a player. I'm You're not, not a player. player. <laughs> Relax. I'm a player. That's why you need to come into the show like once a month so we can knock you back down to size. <laughs> and it's going to be more than once a month. It's just that I've been on the road and very no, busy. it's going to be about once a month. <laughs> Trust listen, me. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do it, Mr. Black? Call Voss. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. When your book comes out, okay, call Voss. You know when they have that guest on Letterman and you know he's only there because someone canceled last minute? You're yeah. our guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's good. I That's don't not care. a bad spot to be it's in, though. Not, listen, hey, listen. Who canceled today? Paul Mercurio? Yeah. Oh. What happened? He tripped on his bottom lip? <laughs> canceled. Juice came out. Oh. Slipped on it. Uh, He's got to be trashed. All right, here's the deal. No. There's a lot going on here today, boss. We we're going to give away the My Five, but then you're, you're talking about Norton, and we have to... Because you don't have XM Satellite Radio, we have to play Norton's uh, mom's phone call again for you. What happened? Because you guys are really good friends. You know, oh, Norton yeah. likes to share with the audience about his whoring and his girls and stuff. And yeah. and he announced, uh, I think, early last week, right, Anthony, that he's going to give up whoring. Give up the whore. And he means it, and and we wish him luck with that. Are you really? Well, so far it's been rough. I, I slipped a couple times over the weekend and then once last night. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I'm uh, living on Banana Peel Hill. <laughs> oh, you slipped again last night, bro? Yeah. On a, on a Monday night, how what could be wrong? Though, that seems like the night that you could kind of you know skate through and go, all right, I made it through Monday. Sit home. It's I mean, Monday. Thursday, I, I could see maybe it's a little tougher. You know, you're getting near the end of the week. Friday and Saturday, forget it, but... Sunday and Monday, you should be able to get through without horn. Right. And you're an entertainer. Entertainers don't. I mean, what, you work clubs all over the country where there's mm-hmm. always one girl. Do you ever see my act? It's about AIDS and my fat torso. No chick wants to bang you yeah, after pull. hearing that. Crap. No, that's not true. I, I, I've hooked you up a lot of times. <laughs> I've seen I've seen my uh, my buddy there, uh, Adam Ferrara, do a gig and then gets off the stage, goes to the bar, and and girls are clamoring over him. Yes, yeah, because it's a pity bang. Watching that, uh, please. Adam's handsome. No, yeah, he's handsome. He's very good looking. He's got he's the a charisma of a rock. No, he's a oh, very shut up. He's a very handsome oh, guy. guy. I like Adam. He's a handsome guy. So you not weasel out of him by going, I like Adam. He's, he's a nice guy. guy. I like that guy. He's a good guy. All right. Bash my friend uh, like that. Shut up. It's like banging Wyatt Earp. The charisma of a rock. I don't know. He just doesn't move a lot. Wyatt what? Earp. Wyatt Earp. Forget, Wyatt Earp had a limp. <laughs> He's doing references Jesus. from people from the 1800s. That had limps. <laughs> they reminded me of John John Wesley Harding. Why? Well, he snored. <laughs> Why? You know I'm only. You know I'm only kidding when I talk about Adam. Everybody, nobody Wyatt in this business. Earp? Nobody in this business. Did you know that Wyatt Earp had a limp? Everybody likes Adam. Of course. You cannot yeah. not like Adam. Absolutely. That's why you got to say something negative. Have you ever heard anything negative about Adam ever? Uh, Just no. That? No. Just that of you. Why? Yeah, of course. Okay, so, um, you know, Norton's parents has the XM Satellite Radio. And Get they, out of here. And the mom, we love Norton's mom. She's the sweetest oh, lady you, you'll ever meet. And um, she heard that uh, Norton is going to try to give up whoring. She thought she'd give her son a little support. So she called his machine, and, of course, Norton runs in here with it. It is really uncomfortable. She left me a message. <laughs> I've already played this thing five or six times. I don't know. No, I want to hear and it. I'm going to play it another five or six <laughs> times because it makes me laugh so hard. I'm sorry, but it does. She was almost my mother-in-law because her sister liked me. Oh, that was, was a dreadful, dreadful time. She had a crush on Rich. I do the email. <laughs> do the email. Did you have sex with her? No. Are you kidding me? I would never do that. No. You know? No. No. I would never. She's cute too. She's cute. Uh, she's like Norton with you know a shape. <laughs> She actually is really cute. How, you know how awful that would have been, though, to have to walk around just knowing that you'd... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Adam Ferrara had sex with my sister. No. Yeah. Really? How going, old is Adam and how old is sister? for a while. Same going age? for like a year. They were going to... Oh, they were dating, though. Yeah. You know, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. That's nice. Which was like, oh... You know, you go out with Adam for years and years. I was going, you know, out to clubs with the guy and stuff and watch him. Yeah, I like to bang that one and this one and that. And then all of a sudden, he's, you know, going out with your sister. And, and he tries to put on the air like, you know, he doesn't say things like that anymore. But, you know, you know, he's still thinking it. He's dogging with your sister. It's like, oh, 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 oh that's oh, awful. God. Oh. You call him, he's out of breath. You know what he's doing. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> what and who. <laughs> Hey, dude, smell my... I forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when smart asses all get together, you, know, you talk about chicks and stuff, and it took him, uh, it took him completely out of the mix. <clears throat> Couldn't talk about that stuff anymore because it's my sister. 
Oh, my sister so ugly. I'm happy when somebody was banging her. Really? Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Your sister's a mess? Oh, and she's loaded. She's got a lot of cash. Completely loaded. What'd she mean. do? She's uh, she's got like you know a, a fifty two foot boat. She's got she's got that Porsche. Uh, I mean she's what loaded. What does she do? She's what Jewish. She, what is, no, what she no. Does. She she was the uh, what like she the do? head. She opens her legs. She, uh, no, listen to me. That ain't gonna make her money. She's a mess. Uh, I'm, I'm the best looking in the family, and and my parents like me the best. Uh, she uh, I don't know. She's loaded, man. She just works for like. Say what uh, she does. She used to for you know she used to work for Warner Lambert, a drug company. She yeah. Was, she was the head of publicity. And now she's with like another company. I don't know. She's got, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, you know, you got a cute sister. You got a cute sister. Do you want me to save you? <laughs> I mean, because you're going nowhere. Yeah, because I'm like, what does she do for a living? <laughs> well, she has a boat. All right, great. I know. I'm Natalie Wood. What does that mean? <laughs> Jesus, Rich. <laughs> it's still early. I got off a train. <laughs> Why are you traveling on a train? Because I, I'm so tired. I didn't feel like driving, man. The train station's right by me. All right. Well, here we go. So this is the phone call that uh, Norton's mom made to Jimmy after she heard that Norton's going to try to give up pouring. Hi, sweetheart. It's Mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening. <laughs> you can't even say hookers or whores. Uh, <laughs> ladies of the uh, evening. That's my favorite part because it's just like, you know she read that somewhere in one oh, of her novels, yeah. the ladies of the evening. And we, everybody's fine here. No one asks. <laughs> yeah. I know. Jim, I know you're trying to give up uh, the, the ladies of ill repute. <laughs> I, I understand you were pulled over for unlawful carnal knowledge. <laughs> you can't meet a nice damsel in distress. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Phil. How cute is that? Oh, oh she's a true American. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Something Phil. with something. <laughs> <laughs> How do you replace Warren with something? Uh, well, she's got no. an answer. Mom has an idea, doesn't she? <laughs> she, <laughs> she does. <laughs> well, I think Gacy's mom made this call. <laughs> so I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Use that, and also there's gyms in New York. You could go, you could exercise, and uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight, you'd tone up, <laughs> and you relieve, you know, tension and stuff. And you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry, I'm interfering. I know. I just I'm thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling, so uh, don't get offended or think I'm strange. But I am a mother, and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help. It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You can go down to the gym and lose weight. He's losing weight rapidly. That's why he's giving up hookers. Oh. <laughs> I just found the opening to my new CD, by the way. What's that? The, that call? Yeah. Oh, without it. That wow. is great. You have to I put love that it. on your CD. <laughs> first, first track. That Boss is, actually oh. brought up a good point, though. You know, could you imagine? <laughs> I, I'm sure, you know, maybe John Wayne Gacy or, or <laughs> yeah. you know, Jeffrey Dahmer gets the call. Hi, Jeff. It's your mom. I, I know, you know, you're trying to give up drilling holes in Asian gentlemen's heads and eating their genitals. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could go to the gym. Maybe get on a treadmill, Jeff. I'm your mother. and You know, I love you. You know, Dr. Phil said when, when you give something up, you should replace it with something. So, you know, I don't know what eating Asian gay gentlemen's brains, you know, what you could, what the trade-off would be for that, uh, or eating their testicles in the stew that you cook and keeping their heads in your refrigerator, uh, but, you know, perhaps a rowing machine, something like that might, uh, you know, you tone up, keeps you busy, I just, you know, I'm your mother and I just worry a little bit. 
I bring the casserole over for you to eat. I open up the refrigerator, and there's a thigh in there. And, you know, I'm your mother. <laughs> Dr. Phil says when you give something up, uh, you should replace it with something. So I don't know. Uh, and that doesn't work with testicles, because if you just replace one with the other, it's the same. You're eating, you know, a testicle right or left. really doesn't matter. I worry, dear. Okay. I love you, Jeffrey. <laughs> you know those like, calls had to exist. Are you all right? She's still a mother. She's an ad lib genius. She's still a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of John Wayne Casey, too, myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, John. It's Mom. Uh, miss, I, I caught your clown show. Me and Dad love it. Uh, you know, I understand you like dressing in your clown makeup and killing homosexual children and gentlemen and burying them in your basement, covering them over with lime and lying about it, being a perfect upstanding citizen of society, but I know I'm a mother and I worry about you. And no, Dr. Phil says, if you, if you, what is that, replace, oh, if you give something up, you should replace it with something, and I don't know, uh, replacing a eight-year-old with a 12-year-old pretty much is the same thing, you're still killing children, gay gentlemen, I just worry, I'm your mother, you know, when I went downstairs to do the laundry and I'm stepping over the graves of the dead, I, I just worry about my boy. Okay, I love you, John. <laughs> I think Kevin was mocking that call. That is so sweet that your mommy calls you like that. Mm. That very is really, you know, that should get you girls right there. <laughs> that you have that relationship. Girls dig like guys with relationships. I have with a mom good like relationship that. with my mother. I'm yeah. not a woman hater. You have mm -hmm. some of the hottest girls all the time. Where? Are you kidding me? Where? But they just want to be friends. The one in uh, yeah. the one in uh, Connecticut that wanted to blow me. That one. Uh, she oh, was she, cute. Oh, she's the one that gave me rent, boys. My friend. She yeah, was cute. Oh, yeah, she was. Uh, Ariel, good looking. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she's uh, she's still friends with her, but she's not banging me anymore. She's but she was, these girls so just want to go around and say, "Oh, I Jimmy Norton, I know that guy." Well, my, Ariel's my ex. That doesn't count. We're friends. It's, yeah. You know, yeah, but I'm saying at one point you were with her and she's hot. So what? So I'm saying you, you get hot girls all the time. So should I carry her picture and show hookers and go, look, how about something off? No, she used to fuck me for free. <laughs> <laughs> Could work. <laughs> Try it. Oh, man. <clears throat> so should we give away the MiFi? No. No? I, I'm... Uh, what? Do you think you got some action behind the ear today? Oh, yeah. Just, I'm, let me keep this on for a while. Give it to the guy. sweat, too. Build this up the sweat? This is what this, uh, it, the ear, you know. No, the headphones? The headphones are building up some sweat. Do you have any of those boogers? I might have some. I Can't don't you know just if I have any give the my fight to the guy and we can move on? <laughs> do, you think, do you think we could give it to retarded Randy Quaid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't touch his ear. <laughs> He's going to hear that now <laughs> don't in a couple that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we asked people what they would do for my fi and this, yeah. this guy out there wants to smell what uh, Voss has behind his ear. Bunch of us that is, uh, that is, are associated with the show, we've uh, done this, and I dry heaved. Uh, a couple of the guys have uh, puked. It's, you, I it's absolutely wanted, awful. I thought he wanted to eat it too. Yeah, yeah, Rich, yeah, has, yeah. Rich has a problem oh, with God. the guy. Uh -huh. All right, that's uh, Rich has a problem with the guy sucking on his. Well, so uh, you get a, give me a, like a CD disc, and you can see the oils. I'll put no, it you right don't on. put it on the oil. Why would you waste it? Why would you? No, waste I'll such... take it. Listen to me. I take it for my ear. Wait, hold on. Then you, and I'll have enough on my finger where I wipe it on the disc, and he's got to lick the disc. No, no, he licks it off your finger. You wash your why? hand after. No, why would I? Okay, he, lick it or suck my finger? You want to suck your finger for a second. Are you out of your mind? You, I'm going to let that mutant out there <laughs> suck my finger. That's look the at thing, him. yeah. You, or, or you have a disc. You don't, you don't let him lick it. Maybe I would either. You get to <laughs> scrape against the back of his teeth like that. That's not bad. Oh, 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 what's wrong with you? Ow, what? Yeah, we found what you're replacing the hookers with. <laughs> wow. no, that's not bad. No, we, wash your hand. I, you, would I do it? I, Absolutely. You would put your finger in, look at him, in his mouth. Against the tooth like that. I, maybe I wouldn't let him suck my finger. But Or how about this? Instead of that, you have to get to rub it under his nose. That's not But nice. here, listen, look at here. Get no, me, not get, a disc. I'm going to show you something. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do if, my fake ear. I'll do my, my wait, wait, not wait, the good wait, ear. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What if you rub it on his upper lip and he has to... Lick it off. 
Okay. Oh, God. But what's the difference if he licks it up there or licks it off the The upper sorry. lip is worse. Yeah, because then it's going to linger there for a while. Yeah, it's got to be under his nose. Yeah, because it's under his nose. It's the whole yeah, thing. I could do that. I could, I could look, put it on. I'll, I'll do it above like and that. And his mustache. Yeah. I'm yeah, going yeah. to Seattle yeah. for a second. Dan, what's up? Hey, what is this? My thigh, you thigh. We all thigh from my thighs at a high thigh. What? <laughs> you don't know what a my thigh is? My thigh, it's one of you the... You guys are too geeked out for your own good. No, not at all. It's one of the hottest items this holiday season. It's a portable XM satellite radio. First of its kind. It's amazing. You can download onto it, mister. You can download the show and then listen to it on an aircraft if you want to. Yeah, you can anyway. download any of the channels uh, from XM Satellite Radio, and uh, then you listen when you want. Oh, you really? could go miles beneath the crust of the earth and listen to something that you have uh, downloaded. Honestly, onto. we don't geek out too bad on the show. It's It really is a... A very cool product. It's revolutionizing the whole satellite radio industry. It's it's all it's uh, it's slightly bigger than an uh, an iPod, and and it looks yeah. really cool. And uh, you can listen, you know, as you're walking around. Remember the stuff. revolution in audio when the Walkman first came out. I remember being shown the Walkman when it first came out, and this was where if you wanted to listen to something on the go, you put on those big headphones. It was ridiculous, or you had the the regular transistor radio with the little earpiece. And then when they came out with the uh, Walkman and you put the, the headphones on and listened and were amazed at the sound mm -hmm. and that you could take it around with you, this is the next step. And then the disc man? Right. I think now you, you're talking satellite radio. I think the portable. CEO of XM Satellite Radio had something to do with the disc man. Really? I, I do believe, yeah. Ooh. Did, oh, they don't even have them anymore. Maybe the, the portable CD players. Yeah. 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 You don't need those anymore. You, you got the MP3 yeah, okay. players. Now you got MP3 players and now you have satellite. It's just a matter of time before MP3. Well, I actually, well, I think I some think of the phones already have MP3 players, right? But yeah, they do. Using those. They use the iPods, right, instead of the MP. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Oh, oh my shit. God. What? You know, the MP3. No, no, no the MP3 <laughs> player. I listen to the Motley Crue on it. It comes with a little needle. It's like a little record player. Ah, you know. <laughs> a needle. You don't want it to skip <laughs> when you the move MP3 around. the MP3 player like the uh, mini disc? Recorder player. Let them talk. Oh my God, a mini disc. Isn't that what that is? Yes. And, and yeah, that's exactly what it is. is. What you download? Yeah, yeah, of right, course. Right, right. I bought one for my kid. Right. There you have it. Yep. I was listening to Rich. the Almond Brothers on the other night. You bought something for your kid that's probably five years old. An, an iPod. An... Oh, you got the iPod. Yeah, for my kid. You're talking a mini disc. Though. You were Where saying mini disc. They said what an MP3, a mini disc. Yeah, sure. I don't know what it is. I don't listen to that crap. I listen to you know that crap. Oh, listen to that kind of stuff. Who listens to music? You get to a certain age, you stop listening to music. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do you, uh, what, do you, who walks around listening to music? Do any of you guys walk around? I always around? listen to music. Yeah. I don't walk around it, but I always listen to it. I have an iPod hard. in my coat right now. Uh, what else? What do you iPod? listen to? Talk? No. Yeah, well, I listen to talk or... You're an old codger. No, he, what do you mean? He can't yeah, listen. I don't need it. He can't listen to music because he's got to make sure he hears the phone ring when Bonnie calls. Oh, that's uh, true. He doesn't have time to be, you know... <laughs> Putting uh, earbuds in his ears and listening to music off his iPod, yeah, and God forbid music. the phone rings and he doesn't answer it. That music is a bunch of bunk. That's the wrong one. There it is. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> I was listening to my MP3 player, <laughs> and I thought I heard the phone ring. Was that you? My MP3 player is filled with all my mini discs. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie, I had the Victrola on. I didn't hear the phone ring. What's that? What? Watson, come quick. I need you. What the hell was that? Was that Bonnie? I can't... This is why I don't listen to music. I can't hear my poopsie call me. What am I doing listening to these really long Almond Brothers songs? No gums? I'm right. oh, sorry. I, I was halfway through in memory of Elizabeth Reed, and in two hours had gone by. I was the live version. Oh, <laughs> uh, how funny. She's great. Yes, I, uh, she is. We, uh, we were... We were uh, well, what did she do? That was oh, we were pitching a TV show the other day, right? We were really, a, together so, as a couple? Well, I'm not just saying. Oh. We're so you know, they go if it, if it happens. Nick and Jessica. No, she goes. Ah. They go. They go if it happens. Yeah. What? Uh, I was just joking. Oh, okay. It, it really is like Nick and Jessica. No, oh my just, God, no. God, help us. I never even saw it, so I don't know what it is. Uh. They go. Uh, they go. If it happens, who would you want to direct it? And she goes. Uh, I want Rob Fox from the first season of Last Comic Standing because he made Tess look funny. So, Whoa! And, and, you know she's in. The, uh, she's good in the meeting. Very funny gal. Very yeah. funny. Just saying, very funny. I just like the way your little hands move back and forth. 
and you look like a midget accepting a wedding proposal. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see that. Oh, you haven't I still seen haven't it yet. seen it. Oh, no. they're trying to hide her eyes like any normal, like what she'd seen in the movies, and they just keep hitting her little chin. Oh, her chin. She can't reach her eyes with those little T-Rex hands. I, I believe it's on HBO On Demand or oh, Showtime okay. On Demand. One of oh. those on demand. you got to see it. What? Funny as hell. What's the matter, Rich? I left. I forgot. He was ready to. He was so excited to say something. He goes, "Oh!" and then just stops. Yeah, I know. You lost confidence in it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, complete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, I love watching the loss of confidence happen. Uh, but it's even funny when it happens in the middle of the joke. Yeah. Because you know the thing is here, like if you if you, if you know something's working, you guys don't like you know you just attack. I know it's <laughs> like <laughs> pit bulls, isn't when it? When DJs awful? attack, <laughs> uh, he's weak. Right for the throat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, see a little weakness of blood, it's over. Let's go down to North Carolina. Bill, what's up? Hey, man. I, mean, I love y'all's show, but every time Voss gets on there, man, it's a freaking screw-up. He's what? a bumbling idiot, man. The mucus-filled, cough secreting faggot. He never says anything, man. He just sits there and starts the story, and you know it's bullshit from the time he opens his mouth. Yeah, they're all, they're all <laughs> lies. They're all lies stories. Uh, <laughs> what, are you, what are you delivering now? Excuse me? What are you delivering? You're in your car. Delivering? Yes. I cannot hear you very well. I'm actually not delivering anything. And you, I guess you officer. did hear me, stupid. He's delivering justice. He's a police officer. Oh, you're a police officer you in go. North Carolina? What's the crime where you live? Somebody rings a doorbell and I runs? I can't hear him at all. I can't hear him? No, not at all. Why? It sounds like he's in the background as opposed to being yeah, on Yeah, that blows. Uh, what are you doing, Bill? Chasing those Duke boys? <laughs> There is a problem. You got to tell uh, what's his name. You know, when we do have a guest on that mic, they can't hear the phones. That sucks. Maybe, uh, maybe he's investigating. I understand that. Did you they... really say the Almond oh, Brothers just stepped on, <laughs> just stomped? On. Jim's in the middle of a joke on that cop from North Carolina, and Opie just wow, <laughs> just trotting on it like like through a daisy field. What stomping. happened? Oh, was it a good oh. one? He was halfway through it. I don't remember. <laughs> it wasn't like where you start and kind of, you know, oh, you're, wow. you're tripping. Up. Jim was halfway but through that game. I told that you, he's roadkill today. We're just going to keep... Ro that could have been one that got us into fifth oh, gear. Gonna just keep, we're just going to keep running him over. That's that wow. a good one. I'm sorry. That's oh, hard. look at Opie's big footprint on your head. I was distracted because we... What, I feel like Charles Grodin in King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. What are you smelling yourself? <laughs> what are you, you smelling your armpits? Are you stinky today? No, not at all. No, someone want to know if you said uh, who are the almond or that. almond brothers? The almond brothers? I didn't say the almond. I said the almond brothers. Almond. Almond. The, the walnut brothers. I didn't put brothers. a D on the end. I said almond. Almond. Yeah, the almond brothers. All right. The guy thought you might have had a D. Yeah, on he was there. hoping Rich oh, yeah. said that. The and then almond uh, brothers. And then Spooge Demon. From somethingawful.com. Oh, remember that website from yes. Justin? Part of the cherry darts thing. He uh, has a whole Scott Peterson mom thing here. He does. Yeah. Hi, Scott. It's mom. Glad to hear you're giving up killing wives and unborn children. But Dr. Phil says. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Dr. Phil says when you get rid of your wife, you have to get rid of your little unborn son Connor too. <laughs> You know, I I worry about you with the cinder blocks and the rowboats and you know, Doctor Phil says when a carcass washes up on shore that you're fucked. <laughs> I miss you, Scott. Daddy loves you. We watched your movie, uh, Pearl Harbor and Jiggly. Come on, we love it. You don't think you look like Ben Affleck? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mommy thinks you look like Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Should never go for three. <laughs> <laughs> That's still good. It was All like right. I talk about North Carolina. Every time I've been on, I've been funny. I always bring something. You know, enough already. Rich gets very upset. It's yeah. always about him. He gets upset when people mock him on the. Look at this, Mike. Mike Ryan from Jersey. Boss, clear your throat. Are you a little phlegmy today? No. Which I... would be good for our little contestant. If you could work some into your schnoz and then pick oh, it up. He'll out. have a booger. Do we have crackers today? Mm. Cracker. Yeah. What happened to the crackers? We could, we just need one saltine. Well, well you had that big bucket of crap yesterday you were eating there. out of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doritos we could use one of those. and yeah, we party could, mix. We could no, they're too salty. They'll kill the booger taste. It's got to be something uh, bland. That booger taste. We'll figure it out. 
All right. I don't want the booger taste lost because the booger is salty. Why don't we take a break and we'll give away the oh. fine next? All right. Let's do that. Does that sound good? Are you ready? Sure. You got good ear stuff? Don't yeah, touch can, it I'll yet. I'll give you the weak one. Don't touch no, it yet. No weak one. No rehearsal. We don't well, need to smell know. the weak one yourself. And, and no, this is not SNL. You don't need a dress for it. Just right. do it when Just the man is do here. It. Just save it and go for uh, go for your all when he comes in. All right. All right. Big finger full of custard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll give away the my fine next. Ugh. A big hi to everyone listening to us on their mini disc. It's ah. the Opie and Anthony Show on XM Satellite Radio. Yukon, what's up, buddy? Hey, man. Hey, what do you got? Hey, what's going on, Ann? What's going on, Jimmy? Hello. Hi, fella. Hey, uh, Opie, you're yeah. being a little corporate bitch. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Harsh language. Why? A little corporate bitch? Yeah, with this free play week, you just not being yourself. Am I right, Jimmy? I don't know. He seems like the same creep he's always been. <laughs> I don't see any difference. I didn't hang up on him, by the he way. He's up. gone. No, I'm not. I just got to read this crap that it's a free play week, and and if you want to continue listening to Opie and Anthony show, you got to add it to your uh, XM account. That's it. You're selling Call out, it. man. Call one man. on your XM radio or subscribe online. You let the man infiltrate you, man. Man. Oh, look at that fire. Yeah, we've been watching the Chicago fire on uh, TV. They put this out yet? Boy, they'll do anything to get people's minds off that basketball team they have out there. They're, they're, they haven't won a game yet. They're, they're doing really bad. For the Bulls? Yeah, they stink. That was kind of a good line. That. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad line. Yep. If I delivered it better and it had a good, better punchline, it would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been good. It had potential. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rick, what's up? Hey, Rick. We lost Rick? Hello? Hello? Rick? Oh, Greg. Greg, Greg Rick, whatever. Oh, great. Okay, I wasn't sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I uh, was watching CNBC uh, a couple of minutes ago, and um, Gary Parsons was on there talking about <laughs> the, the stocks. He can't stop eating. It's just amazing. Yes, go ahead. And uh, Toyota is going to be offering XM in 2006. Really? Factory yeah. installed or? Factory installed. Where'd you hear that? Or dealer option. And, uh, no. The key uh, to satellite radio is the factory installed. Yeah, and it's already in GM, of course. Yeah, and, no, uh, we know. And Honda, Honda this year. Okay. Well, we have to find out what that's about, because uh, that would be big news today. Yes. Yes. Well, he was on there for about 10 minutes, but I couldn't get through, so. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, someone wants, uh, maybe if you just put a condom on your finger... Then the guy could suck your finger. No, I don't know if you Absolutely could get, like, not. a good... That's yeah. kind of a good idea. No, it's not. You know, we got to get this MiFi thing out of the way, because I think it's kind of just slowing down the show a little bit. I really do. Why? You then it could stay, and, and we'll do other stuff. Oh, okay. Our we got really racist day, music we're going to be playing in a little while. It's, mm, it's called The Showstopper yeah. today. <laughs> you got to go over there and do it. Huh? No, I'm just telling Rich, you can't do it here, because he won't be able to handle this. Oh, I'll freak oh, out. Oh, what's the big deal? You should take a whiff. I'll lose my mind. Really sure. I'll lose my mind up in here, up in here. You're the only one that hasn't whiffed it. Yes, I know. Uh, hey, why don't you proud. take the weak ear? Take no, the weak ear. No, no. The right ear, the weak ear. No, the reaction would be so no, great. It smells like no, grape jelly. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction would be great. The weak ear. No. Remember in the parking lot of the train station where yeah. we all took turns and yeah. I haven't la I laughed so hard that day. People were puking, dry heaving, and everyone was taking the t their turn. And and while the one guy's smelling what's what you got behind your ear, everyone else was losing it because of the reaction after they smelled. There is no way. I can't believe I didn't do that at the Hammerstein. Bring someone on stage. That would have been great. Oh yeah, that would have been a good one. All right, oh. so why don't we bring this guy in? Where's Ben? Um. Ben doesn't want to be in the studio for this. Oh, so. come on. Oh, yeah. come on. And he gets real. He gets real. So what? He's, the no, no, boss no, no, wants no, no, him no. in here. Yeah, no. Ben's the executive producer. Ben needs to be the in here. The boss wants him in here. He's Believe me, ben I don't want to be in here for What this. happened to this show? Of course Ben has to... What happened to taking one for the team? This show lacks discipline. We all used to take, you know, take stuff for the team. Ben... He's ignoring us. He's at a computer. What's he's, in your luggage? He's ignoring us? Get, get in here. Just... 
Will no, you... get in here for a second. I don't Stop care whining. if you'll throw up. Why did you stop whining? He's well, got to at least explain himself. No, he Stop doesn't. It. He's got to stand in here because the boss. Do you guys understand out. how bad this is? That Ben is like, no way, I'm, I'll, I'll, throw I'll throw up. I'll throw up. Just no, you won't. Sleep over there. No, I've never no, been. That, I've never had to. That, that tight sweater will stop it from coming. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> uh, you like discipline. No, you don't. Know, the boss needs you here for executive he's producer decisions. He's in here. Just stand over there. No, no. Why? I will puke on you, and then I'll puke on I'll puke on the ones that are. I love on the ones you love. You always I'll puke you on Norton and Opian. What's the problem? Oh, I will throw up. What is the problem? I will throw up. You well, will... don't have any more sushi. Stay here. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna yeah, throw like... up. You're not smelling it. Yeah, dude, I get. I just Shut even up. watching it from in there last time, I almost threw up. The it... boss said you gotta stay. It's here. really not bad. Talks. Come on, have, man, another, just... have another chip. Just hang out in the corner. <laughs> just take one of the team. I don't care. Save one of the chips for the booger. Yeah, which chip you want with the booger? Is it gonna go on a pretzel, a cheese doodle, a tortilla chip? No. I think it should go on a tortilla chip. Ben just ran out again. That's going to kill the smell. Ben's leaving. He's back at the computer. That's going to kill the smell. No Doritos. That's easy. How about a, a, a tortilla chip, then? No, here. One crack of the white ones. You, oh, you a cracker? Oh, salt, I don't know. There's salt on a saltine. Take the salt off. It's got to be something Hence else. The I'm name. telling you. How about a, piece, a little piece of bread? Is there, is there anything? What do you put in your mouth to get the salt taste out? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you bring food, sir? Yes, it's for beefy tits. Oh, what did you bring? Wait, Thank you. Talk on mic. Yeah, get that. Yeah, there's a new thing that Steve started. If if you come down to say hi to the program, you got to bring food for some what reason. What the oh. hell is? And this I has. Heard, con I heard what is this? A morning show? So. Oh, what? Oh, a whole Texas Hold'em hold poker, poker set. set. Nice. Wow. Oh, I'm rewrapping this, giving this to somebody this Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> this is perfect. Let's take a look. I want to look at the chips. Because this might go flying if this isn't good, sir. No, those are good chips. Uh, they're it's, brand new. It's got some weight to it. I'll tell you that. That's the old ones. Where does he hail from? Oh, that's what he can... New Jersey. The booger New off. Jersey, what's your name? Paul. Hey, Paul. He can suck him off All the right. chip. Oh, yeah, he should lick the boogers off a poker chip. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be good. That's, that's right, off a chip. Texas Hold'em chip. <laughs> All right, the poker that's chips look bad. good. They, they look, look make... pretty good. They got some Excellent. weight to them, some thickness. Not like that cheap crap that Broad bought. Well, there they are, the famous chips. <laughs> yes, maybe maybe he should lick a booger off one of the old chips. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I like uh, it. I like it. Uh, Joe in Philly, what's up? Joe. Yo, guys, what's going on? Hey. Listen, like there's these that. two DJs on NJ1015. Mm -hmm. All right, their name is Craig and Rossi. Yeah. They use a lot of your shit. The ping pong, the silent, and they say, oh, no, 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 we're friends with our one night. They let us do whatever we want. Is this true? Because these guys are sucking all your shit up. Yeah, I've heard, I mean, I worked with Craig, and he's a really good guy. I, I don't understand why he's got to, you know, do the stuff we do, you know? Well, well, I just wanted to know because I mean it ain't right because it's, it's, no, I, it's I don't understand that. Well, no, we're, right. well, we're friends, so it's cool. No, it's not cool. Do you? You know? Do, do you, you know them guys? It's Craig, who used to work at NAW, one of the sports guys. Sports oh. guys. I've heard this a lot that they're right, using cool. the ping pong and a lot of the stuff that we kind of oh. started the doing on our game show. All the time. The Friendship silent game, no, even no reason. All the time. Ooh. All the time, and they always wait and they go. Oh, I was wondering how long it was going to take for them to hang up. I'm like, oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Well, uh, they're yeah. just uh, a couple of clones is what they are. <laughs> yeah. We are the uh, innovate, Robin. All right. So what's your name again? My name's Paul. Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> I mean, we need it to has to happen over there. It can't happen right here because I can't smell it. At least I'm staying in the studio. Oh, really? Well, you, you smell it? it? You smell it. You smell it. Times. I thought you were a fan of the uh, yeah. odor. No? I am. I'm afraid I'll just cheer right. and stop this flow again. Maybe so, you can transfer that uh, prostitute addiction with my odor. All right. Oh, so so for the MiFi, for the MiFi, Paul is gonna smell. I've got nothing. That's what's not behind good. Rich Voss's ear? That really bugged him about the guy calling him. I know. Why do you like it? They they hate me. They hate all of us. I don't know. You're the I only just... one that takes it personally. I know. I'm sorry. One guy. I know, but he's a cop in North Carolina. Oh, he's a big rich. Well, actually, there were a lot of guys, but I figured, <laughs> I figured he represented everybody. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Do you want to read the feedback? It's not too pretty. <laughs> well, what the hell? I'm, no one's... I'm doing... What do you mean it's not I'm too so pretty? I'm so kidding when oh. you mean shut up. What am I supposed to do? He's kidding. Alvera, he's kidding. One guy gets to you. It's amazing. <laughs> I was kidding. All right. All right. You ought to listen to Bonnie, man. You are an asshole. <laughs> All right, so who do we have in the studio? Uh, <laughs> Larry. Pete? Paul. Oh, Paul, hey. All right, so we'll, we'll do the tester here first, no. right? Are you going to let him smell the tester? No. Why? Okay. No. No! No, hit him up with the real He's deal. just got to get the full barrage, but hold on. 
We, Rich is ready to just shove it in his face. <laughs> Radio, you got to build some drama. You know? Where are you from, sir? New Jersey. He's from Jersey. What a surprise. <laughs> Everyone that comes on to this show is from Jersey. Jersey Good loves part. us. Got to love Jersey. Uh, brick, Ocean County. Oh, okay. All right. And what do you do for a living? Uh, sell garden supplies. You sell garden supplies. Yeah, I'm a loser. What did you job? Jeez, I, you know. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were growing up? Uh, I'd say been a, a loser all my life. How old are you? Oh, Twenty-two. I love oh, Andy. You're young. I, I love listening to kids talk. I'm gonna be an astronaut. I'm going to be a movie star. I'm going to be a pilot. I'm going to be a pilot. Fast forward 15 years, the yeah. same kids working at the deli, you know. Gardening, <laughs> gardening supply store. Gardening supply yeah. store, used car salesman, but all kids. I'm going to be a professional baseball player. Yeah, but you don't see the part where the uncle walks in the room and ruins that dream. I have really nothing. <laughs> I swear to God, thank God for my ear. Thank God. That's if the I only... didn't have this left ear, Your ear I swear to God. Your ear is a crutch. full of I am, stench. I'm like <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis with le my left ear. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> is that his name? Yes. What's it at? What's yes. that his name? Yes. My left. It was pretty funny, actually. I don't know why we didn't laugh. Oh, it was very funny. I just wanted him to have back yeah, to back. Was, <laughs> is that his name? <laughs> well, because it was a good reference. Oh, and it was funny. But you guys, see, that's the problem. I don't, you know what the problem is? What? If you don't laugh at a good at a good one like that, then the people listening go, well, that's not funny. Right. Because they think that you got to laugh in the studio. Yeah. Did you hear because my that, almond line go down the toilet before when I did the yep. Ben girl hanging? Oh, that was, a good, that was a great line. No, but I said, just didn't. No, no, the, the girl that the, the, the what? Stop the flow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But see, I, I mean, I've had like five good lines, but you guys have no energy. You're, you're, you're not, not giving. What? You had a lot of energy Money until energy. I saw your face outside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, you know. Here comes the showstopper. No, no, listen. <laughs> listen. And you haven't had five good lines. I, 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 yes, yes, I definitely did. You I at least four. say that confidently you did. <laughs> I had, okay, maybe four. I'm, 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 all right, we'll just have one three. <laughs> yeah. That's a negotiation. <laughs> using his Jew bargaining technique. <laughs> Five lines, three lines, three. four. <laughs> three, but you got to give me two towards the next appearance. <laughs> I'll gladly pay you two lines for an appearance today. Uh, God. Oh, God, am I a fucking great character. Oh. <laughs> At least he's confident. Well, I don't know if he's confident. <laughs> he's confident right now. Wait for the next bomb and then see how <laughs> not confident he is. Uh, All right. All right so now, do we know what we're doing here? We got Rich. He's going to get a finger full of that behind-the-ear stench. What he will do then is put it, wave it under your nose. Not so you wave it. Hold it. it. Hold, hold it. it. Yeah. Um, what's you his know. name? Uh, uh, Paul. It will, it will be, like, wafted, uh, you know, so it wafts under his nose. Hold it under his nose. You got to... You got a sniff. He looks like Mr. Kaputnik's son from Mad Comic Books. If There's you, that line. I, it's <laughs> wow. Right, that's not a bad. First of all, his name is Roger Kaputnik, and he's a great character. But I don't even. I don't recognize that. That's a I, very obscure reference. Yeah, I, I read Mad growing up, and I could not possibly. You don't remember Mr. Roger Kaputnik? Kaputnik? If he was an older guy with white hair, I might have recognized as Roger Kaputnik. Yeah. But the son. If he had a son. Does he look like the grown-up kid from Family Circus? <laughs> yeah. It's just a very, <laughs> very obscure references. He looks like Dagwood Bumstead's third, <laughs> third <laughs> nephew from an abusive marriage he was involved in before the cartoon. <laughs> third panel, 1968, February 12th, New York Times. <laughs> you look like a kid Beetle Bailey molested. <laughs> wow. Family circled out. That's that could be one. the most obscure reference ever on this program. Yeah, that was pretty obscure. Yeah. Oh, really? Save that for the comic book yeah. convention. I mean, <laughs> you know what he looks like. <laughs> Private pile. A <laughs> little bit. Yeah. yeah. Little bit. Slight. All right. Well, you know what? So it'll be way wafted under his nose. Can I yeah. say hi to Jim in Jersey first, though? Oh, yeah? Here we go. Yeah, Jim, go ahead. Can't even get the Yo. rules out today. <laughs> I know. Yo, listen, Voss is killing the show today. No, he's not. Oh, he's killing the show today. Get right. out of your mind. Tackling little kid today. I am. I'm because it's funny. There's funny stuff going on. That's I can't right. help it. When you when you hear funny stuff, you gotta laugh, man. It's it's giving it back. Uh, let's see. Voss makes Lady Di sound like Lenny Bruce. <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. I still read Mad, and Voss is an idiot. <laughs> he finally has a great line, and he completely blows it. Wow. Hey, Voss, you explain your jokes well. Wow, I'm getting a lot of write-ins. That's pretty good. It is good. They all know you. I got more write-ins than Nader. 
<laughs> Brad, what's up? <laughs> Yo, boss there. Yeah, boss is here. Jesus Christ, man, you sure are an overgrown pussy, boss. You don't let him suck on your finger, nor can probably let him suck on his dick for five bucks. Wait, say that again? Well, no, he won't let him suck his I finger. I won't let him suck my finger. What's wrong with you? <laughs> God damn it, boss. What kind of pussy are you, anyhow? It's just a finger, man. Oh, you saying I should let him suck my finger? Yeah. Are you saying yes or no? Yeah, you should let him suck his finger, man. What's Would you put your that? finger in a stranger's mouth? Oh, fuck. Who gives this shit? Ain't like you're going to fight it or anything. That's true. It's not like you haven't done things like that before. All right, so what's happening road? here today? But I think so, I think Anthony's idea about wiping it right here, so yeah, it lingers well, at, in his... But this kid doesn't you've got to get a good smell first. You've got to, yeah. like, breathe it in so you know what, what it smells like, and that'll make it that much more disgusting for him when Voss then wipes it on his upper lip. Mike doesn't care. You don't think so? No, he's right. Do you care? I saw you kind of grimacing. Yeah? I don't think well, this is... The, it's a two-parter for the Mike. Yeah. Fly, so this is the first part. So then he's going to wipe it on his uh, upper lip, which you must then... Immediately, take your tongue and lick it off. <laughs> now, after after I wipe it on his upper lip, yeah. if he sticks out his tongue, I'll, I'll scrape some. Oh, of okay, tongue. yeah. Stick your I tongue out. It. He'll wipe it on your tongue, and then all you right, can that works. Clean Does that your work? Upper yeah, lip. that works. You I get... just don't want to suck my finger because I might shoot a load of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be really embarrassing. Now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Pop your finger in his mouth. And you... <laughs> hey. <laughs> Boss is back. <laughs> Boss is back, everyone. His eyes blinking rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> I lay back, have a cigarette in the studio. Oh, man. Like, for that moment, all shame of what was happening would just go away. You're just coming. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's, oh. let's do this thing. What is Ben doing out there? I think Ben needs to be in here. Ben I, does I, not want to be party to this. Cool that no Ben's not way. in here. I think as the boss, sometimes you got to put your foot down. You think I like getting up at five thirty, but no, no. sorry, it's what the show requires. <laughs> getting up at five thirty, nice. I yeah, did that's today. real nice. Five thirty-three. Th- thanks really. for the effort. Hey, dude, I didn't. I was oh, up at three fifteen today. Well, you're the you get the big bucks. I was uh, I was out supplementing my income with a little stand-up comedy last oh, night. There you go. All right, very good. Let's uh, let's do this thing. You mm-hmm. go to that. Uh, okay. What you ask me whatever you want. No, no, it's about comedy. Love you. All right. All right. Rich, if you would take your position next to uh, Paul. You have to go on that side. Paul from Jersey, right? Paul from Jersey. Okay. He's a psychopath. I can see Paul's and, a psychopath. Um, don't, don't touch anything. Now, now, <laughs> now, make sure after you dig good in your ear, uh, there's no delay for because it's, the half-life on this stuff is very quick. Yeah, but I it like does. when Voss smells it himself and goes and has confidence in it going, oh, yeah, oh, it's You want happening. him to take a yeah. quick sniff first? Yeah, because it's always funny. Okay. Ready? Here he goes. He's rubbing now behind the oh ear. Get a good one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst ever. He's gagging. He's gagging. He's gagging. This never disappoints. <laughs> Recharge it a little, boss. Recharge. Recharge. It's never disappoints. You can't fake that. No, wipe it. Now stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue. Ah, he's puking. Oh, God, he's puking. Get your finger away from my coffee. Oh, get it out of there. Oh, my God, he's all red. It won't go away. It won't go away. He can't take it. Oh, his whole he is face so is red. red. He tried to put his tongue out, and his body revolted and wouldn't let him put his tongue out. Did you see him heave? Uh, his uh, body, like, shook. He's still oh, leaning over the garbage pail. Boss is gagging. Just smelled it himself. Oh, 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 this oh never, my this God! Never, this, this never disappoints. Yeah, I, I get one of the interns to try it. <laughs> wow! It's so that did he did he get it on his yeah. lip and all that? Oh yeah, he did it. Yeah, it's on his lip. What about That's the tongue? Away. What about the tongue? No, the tongue. <laughs> he didn't get any on the tongue. Did he? No. he licked it. No, he licked. It. He tried to lick it. Oh, he's puking. <laughs> Dude, he Again, licked, he, he, tried, he put his tongue out, and his tongue physically wouldn't do the act. <laughs> did you see him shudder? The whole they like he shuddered with they that heave. <laughs> <laughs> Kev has no sense of smell. No, Kev has no sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, probably would break through that. Yeah, probably would break through that. No, 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 stop it. 
No, I want to no, smell it in here. Rich must <laughs> stop it. Rich, <laughs> someone else has to take. Must a, now be escorted to the bathroom where he w- must be what? must wash no, his hands. Yeah, he's still oh, got more. Got more. What the hell is that? A who, dumpster who full back there? Who hasn't smelled it yet? All the interns have, unless there's somebody you want to punish. I don't know. <sighs> no, they've all been working their asses off. This they're is, all very good interns. They're How great. How about uh, Master Poe? Has he no, smelled no, it? No, no, because Master Poe will just twist off the offending digits. Digits. Oh my God! That no. never ever no. disappoints. I I don't oh, know what man. it is. It Jesus. never ever disappoints. All right, relax, Master Paul. How about Nathaniel? Um, he hasn't Nathaniel took some. He did. Did he? Well, Mars has. Did he? I can make a deal with Nathaniel. We have what? his comedy tape. I'm sure he'd like some exposure today on the really? radio program. <laughs> oh, Nathaniel. Please come in. Uh, it's bad, right? worst. Doesn't it violate you as a human? Wait, get him on the yeah, on mic. What, what, Paul? So hold on, Paul. Nathaniel first. Oh, oh, no, we'll go to Paul first. Paul, what does that smell like? Dev. Get right on the mic, please. The most rotten pussy you could ever think of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone describes it differently. No. It's something like rancid meat. I didn't have confidence. Rancid meat and like old cheese. It's yeah, like I didn't have confidence in it today. I just thought it wasn't going to happen. Uh, I didn't think we were going to oh get the reaction. Oh, my God. That was but like... it never disappoints. I have to have confidence in this every yeah, time. every time. Because it just seems like such a stupid thing, but I'm yeah. telling you. He so. turned like beet red and, and, and started heaving into the. Uh, he tried, he tried to lick it. His body wouldn't. His <laughs> wouldn't tongue wouldn't it. do it. Wouldn't allow it. <laughs> no, my tongue won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hold on a minute. Wow. Leslie's not happy with us whatsoever. Leslie, what's up? Dude, no booger. No more. No more ear. No more booger. Booger. No. Booger. 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 Can you, oh, stand over there. I can't I, take it. I cannot take it. All right. Well, if you don't want to um, um, hear Paul eat one of the no, boss's no, no, no. horrendous he boogers, do he doesn't deserve that. Shut up! He's getting a, almost a four hundred dollar thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I took, I'm taking that for free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't think oh. I right. oh. Leslie, you might want to. No, turn, get away from me. You might want to turn <laughs> off the uh, program <laughs> for five minutes. For <laughs> All right, thank you, Leslie. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, ref. <laughs> ref, it looks like in Maryland. Ref, yeah. ref, <laughs> ref. <laughs> Ref, ref. Can you not? Will you stop walking around and waving your finger uh, like a uh, weapon? <laughs> ref, ref. Uh, Reef. Yeah, All right, whatever. What's up, Reef? Hey, you can't make this poor guy eat a booger after getting a dirty boss. Uh, you can, because I've gotten a boss. And you know what? Rules are rules. Rules are rules. That's right. I don't have any. But uh, hold on. Let's get. Wait, we gotta more. get Nate. Get more, uh, Try to right. get Nathaniel some. Nate, Nate, I'll show Nate. you what I got left. Still. Nate, Nate. Nate. Over there. You have a blank dish. Can you stop like walking around with that finger? Nathaniel, our intern, is in. Uh, he's a comic, Anthony. Yes. Yes. Right. Upping, up and coming what comic. What are you doing, though? No, no, don't, don't do it yet. Wait, not after. Hold on. And he, uh, he brought in a, uh, a tape. He performed at Caroline's last uh-huh. night, and I'm sure he would like a little exposure today. Mm-hmm. But I think he's going to have to do the Voss thing first. But why do you want to wipe it on something, Rich? After I, just to show you how much I had. But, but up. put it, do it, and then oh, yeah, with no, your finger it, under his nose gotta, so he, he can smell it. You got to get a good. There's a lot, huh? We gotta. We well, get on mic. We can't hear you. Snorting from your nose. It's meaty. It's meaty. All right. Oh, always oh, taking it like a man. Nothing. Oh, he's good. I think once my cherry's been popped on this, it's just really. No, he already more. smelled it. Wow. What? I, 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 oh God! Oh my God! Look at it. the CD. Oh, he's oh, it on, on the CD, CD. and it, you could just see the big smear of. Oh my God! Gook. <laughs> Get away from me. All right, we see it. Get, Get away. away. You're awful. You're an awful man. Get that away. I'll throw that out. Uh, Sell it on eBay. Uh, Wash this. Toxic uh, waste. Oh, my. serious DNA right there. Nathaniel took that. I can't believe he it. He took that like, like a champ. Well, we all know we it does wear off after We have that. learned that much. We have learned, though. Yeah, No, it wears off pretty fast. It, the first hit is usually the worst. It's usually the worst, right? Oh. I think the whole studio is starting to smell. (laughs) Holy shit, I think the whole studio is starting to stink. Oh, my God. I'm going to throw it. It smells like cheese and an ass. Get away. Get Get away, Brad. Throw that away. (laughs) Throw that disc out. Throw it out. Florentine goes to Bonnie. Have you smelled this here? And she goes, yeah. 
He goes, what are you doing? She goes, I blew him. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Yeah, throw that away. Oh, you're just the worst person. Go put no, that, I, I don't throw don't that go. away. Go it's put in the that garbage by, right go, there. Go put it by Ben. No, you don't want to waste that. Shut up. Go, go put that by Ben. Tell him you want to queue it up. Make him carry it. Oh, Save that. That's, that's a collector's yeah. item right there. Yeah, throw God that on eBay. It. Throw yeah. that on eBay. <laughs> what, what disc was that that he yeah. ruined completely forever? This, this, my stand this up. one last night. <laughs> oh. That's your stand-up? No, 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 no. Go put that. Go, go, go. Uh, throw it away. Where do you want me to put it? What's the ben, the in the garbage <laughs> pail. No, you can't. You put can't. it in the fucking garbage pail. <laughs> Jam. It puts the stink disc, yeah. oh, disc, yeah. disc in we, the pail. I can't even speak. We're going to play that for the people that are checking us out for free this week. We'll do that in a minute or two. What about oh. the booger? No, I don't have any. That, you don't that, have any boogers? Uh-uh. So I do I get a my fight too then? Awesome. No, you get your comedy play. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. No, I got nothing. You have nothing? No, because ever since I used that nose trimmer, nothing's oh. getting caught up. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. So far, uh, oh. Paul's got a my fi No. Horrifying. The video is oh, hilarious. Oh, Rich is digging in his nose. <laughs> oh, God, I hate seeing people pick their nose. That, you told me to. Like, can you go wash your hands in a fucking... In... What are you doing? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Were you... Dude, it's disgusting here. I'll let you off with you. Oh, that was funny, though, man. Paul dry heaving. Did you actually puke, or was it more dry heaving? He came up and went back down. <laughs> Rich, what are you doing? So, it's, it's just going... Go wash Rich, your hands. Go, go, gotta go, wash. Go gotta wash. All right. Well, we'll play Nathaniel's comedy table a little, little bit. You, you took him. What can I tell you? Rich is going out. It wasn't the reaction uh, we wanted, but uh, we'd rather have a real reaction than something oh fake. Yeah, so absolutely. Going there you out. go. He took well, it. It does wear away a little bit. Yeah. Not one more much. little spray of Lysol. Okay. Uh, and you want to um, oh, you want to, you want to do this or no? That reeked. Um, the fan, right? Where you are. Oh. Oh sure. You yeah. ready right now? Sure. Why not? All right. A little surprise for everybody. Haven't done this in a while. Right? No, we haven't. And uh, we can't tell you what it is because we want to get it done before anyone gets in trouble, uh -huh. right? We've done it in the past. So let's go to Sex Bagel out on the streets of New York City. Sex Bagel! Hey, guys. I'm out here uh, in the cold pouring rain with a bunch of Tony Danza fans here. <laughs> and, uh, we have Tina from Philadelphia who is a massive Tony Danza fan. And she would love nothing more to speak to Tony. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. Um, I think Tony Danza's ready here. Hello? Hello? I think we're ready for Tina. Okay, hang on one second. Okay. There you go. Hello? Tina. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hey, how you doing, Tina? Good. I, we love you so much. There's eight of us. We came all the way from Philadelphia to see you. Philadelphia. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, you, you know I'm doing I'm doing very well in Philadelphia. That's great. The show uh, it taking off. Getting married. I am so very excited. I went to hear your CD. I would I wanted to purchase one. Oh, you like that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I I I've loved singing for so many years, and uh, you know God bless. I've been able to uh, pursue that now and and uh, put out a CD. Oh, that's great. I, I I'm a big I was a big fan of Who's the Boss. Oh, uh, who's the boss? And uh, oh. of, of course, that other show uh, I was on. Uh, <laughs> but we, I, st I still love you. You're so hotty. Oh, hey, hey, does that mean uh, Tony might get lucky? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you. Oh, you can't wait to come into the show. Right. And uh, and see how you how you think I'm doing as a talk show host. Huh? How do, how do you think I'm doing as a oh, talk show host? You're doing good. You're doing great. Oh, uh, yeah? I don't look like a complete buffoon up there. <laughs> no, not at all. Not you know, because I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> no, you're not. But you're funny. It's, it's, you're funny. It's a, gr it's a great show. Hey, you watch the uh, reruns of Taxi? <laughs> huh? You, you, you watch the reruns of Taxi? Yes. You know, yes, I do. When I was a young guy, you know, uh, know. my mule was all uh, hard. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And that little, uh, the little guy uh, with uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the uh, little guy on taxi. The 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 little guy on taxi. Oh. Yeah, uh, he, he he used to make us laugh so much. He'd uh, he'd come in 
And uh, after a night out banging whores, you go, smell my finger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, That's you know, uh, a little too risque, I understand. But, uh, and then the, uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the guy that would, oh, uh, that would fix the cars, uh, the car. The guy. The car. The car. The Yeah. You know, I kind of forget. I'm getting old in my old age. Latka, yes. Latka. Yeah. He would. He, he would come in after banging bras and say, "Smell my mule." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great, though. I'm so excited to see you. You know, it's like Doctor Phil says. You know, when you give something up, you got to replace it with something else. Right. You know, right. you understand that, right? Oh, I completely understand it. <laughs> yeah, huh? So uh, how long before they let you in? I don't know. We're still waiting. Hey, do you know who's on the show today? No. Uh-oh. I was hoping you'd tell me, because <laughs> I, I, they don't tell me till the last minute. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. Yeah, we don't know who's on the show today. Hey, how big of a Tony Danza fan are you? I'm a big fan. A big, I'm, big fan. I'm a huge fan. We're all huge fans. We have eight people. Yeah. Hey, um, what about your CD? Hey, excuse me? Could you give me a CD? I will personally give you a CD oh, after the show. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, if you uh, let my uh, my person on the scene there, Eric, know uh, where you're sitting, uh, how would you, how would you like to come backstage after the show and uh, hang out with Tony? I would love it. I have I have eight people with me. Can they come too? They could all come backstage. Oh, that would be awesome. But you know. It, it, there's a little, little trade-off here, okay. you know, a little trade-off. I do for you, you do for Tony Danza. Okay. All, All right. right. Uh, do you understand? I completely understand. We love him. Hello? Here we, here we go again. Hello? Do you, do you know the kind of favor Tony needs? You know, it's it's pretty, uh, a lot of high pressure uh, doing a show uh, every day like this. You, you understand? Oh, I completely understand. And uh, I need to relax a little bit. You know, I need to relax. I used to have to relax on a set of taxi and who's the boss. And uh, there were people that would help uh, me relax. Maybe you could help me relax a little bit is what I'm saying. I'll, I'll help you relax. You know, maybe a little back rub. Definitely. You would you like to give me a back rub? I sure will. Hey, maybe a little front rub. <laughs> oh my God. Are you married? Uh, yeah, I'm getting married in March. Yeah, well, I'll try to put a stop to that, huh? <laughs> hey, you keep your husband happy, huh? Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> hey, you want to do me a favor? Sure. When I'm doing my uh, my monologue at the uh, beginning of the show, uh -huh. would you come up on stage and give me a kiss? Oh, I sure will. I would love it. You know, I'm starting a new segment on on the program, and I like having a, a, a lovely young lady uh, come out on stage and give me a little peck on the cheek. I would be honored to. I would definitely be honored to. Now, uh, we, we need a good a good time. Uh, for you to come out. Okay. And give me that little kiss on the cheek. Okay, definitely. Now, as soon as I walk out. Okay. I'll walk out on the stage. Okay. And I want you to, you know, the, the audience is applauding because I'm uh, Tony Danza. Uh-huh. And you, uh, you come out. And uh, I'll be like, oh, here's someone from the crowd. And just uh, say, I love you, Tony, and give me a kiss on the cheek. Oh, that would be awesome. And then you go back to your seat, and I'll give you a, a CD, and you come back oh. and give me a, a massage. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Okay. I'm so excited. And so am I. Thank you. I won't ruin it by saying anything else. Uh, all right. Uh, I look forward okay. to seeing you uh, on stage at the beginning of the show. I sure will. Thank but, you. Hey, thank you very much. God thank bless. Thank you very much. God bless you, too. Bye-bye. Hey guys. Eric. Hey, um, we have the head of security here. He's right next to me. He wants to confirm that uh, we're this isn't the Opie and Anthony show. That it's really Z100. Um. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hang on one second. All right. Uh, we have somebody from the company who wants to. If you want to confirm it. Oh. <laughs> Didn't happen there. Uh oh. 
Well, <laughs> their sounds problem like, sounds like somebody's onto this shenanigans. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. Someone from the show knows the deal now. <laughs> that stinks. Oh. Well, I'm still gonna have to watch today, and hopefully they they'll won't talk say, to that woman. Yeah, they'll talk right to her. Do you think? Yeah. This is we'll get it done. I don't know. Maybe maybe Eric uh, kept her away from uh, the girl I was talking to. Who knows? I don't know. Boy, they always think it's Tony. They're so happy to talk to that big, Your impression's dumb phenomenal, though. I bastard. think it's Tony, and I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> big dumbass. <laughs> Eric's, Eric's all nervous. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's down there in his fake Tony Danza t shirt. <laughs> Is he wearing a fake Tony yeah. Danza shirt? Yeah, he went down there with it. We actually had t shirts made up. Let's say Tony Danza show staff. He's yeah. Got, like Tony Danza staff t shirt, a jacket, a hat. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, you go, know, we go all out for our bits. We do it enough. <laughs> One of these days it's going to happen. They probably make an announcement before the show. Uh, we don't know if, if Tony any... spoke with <laughs> you. Mark, if Tony Danza spoke with you on the phone, don't come running out on the stage, okay? You fucking rude. <laughs> come out and give me a kiss on my car. <laughs> Duh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, she was very happy to uh, yeah, talk sure. with Tony. May okay. have to just be vicious from now on, then. If, it, if it's never going to get on stage, you may just have to keep smashing them with filth. I know. You know what's really funny? She doesn't... <laughs> I, I'm I'm talking to her, and I bring up that Dr. Phil said, you know, if you give something up, you got to replace it with something. You understand? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, she's just so thrilled to talk with this idiot that she doesn't care what he's saying. She's just agreeing with it. She's agreeing with anything. We're trying to get Eric back on the line, but... Hey, where'd he go? Uh, Ben's laugh. Ben, you can come back in. The boss thing's over. Why Jesus. Ben cackling? I don't know, but he's got something to say. It's in an outbreak suit, Ben. He's just afraid. Ben. He's being, uh, they're threatening to arrest him. Oh. What? Disorderly conduct. How is that disorderly I don't conduct? Know. He's the well, most disorderly guy ever. ever. Then they, they grabbed his phone or something. They grabbed, grabbed his phone. His yeah. phone. Oh, oh, what? Gonna... what? Is this going to be the first person arrested on the new Opie and Anthony show? Eric. Why can't I fucking do it? Hello? Hey, what's up, Eric? Yeah, they're not letting me leave. They're threatening to arrest me here for disorderly contact and ruining their show. Eric, run away. They're not cops. Leave right now. Run. Hello? Oh, they got on again. Just run away. He's got to just run. They don't understand. People don't understand. If they're not cops, you can flee. Yeah. Run away. Oh, Eric's going to get arrested now. <laughs> Eric's going to get arrested because he's not running away. Like stupid Mercurio. Run away. <laughs> run. Run. They're run. not cops. You can run from Danza Security. <laughs> run. They're not going to put an APB. Hey, call in all cars. Call in all cars. Look for a cute little chubby boy with frosted hair. <laughs> Car 54, where are you? Whoa, it's the Danza Police. Woo! The Danza Police. Da, 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 da. Are you kidding me? I thought we were pretty sneaky today. They've been just waiting for us, huh? Pull over. Who's the boss? I'm the boss. <laughs> Don't make a move. Drop the cell phone. Well, someone has to get down there. Oh, he's you got to run. Um, I'll give Ben all the numbers for, uh, for the uh, record label guy, so I'll go down there. Well, uh, disturb. What is it? Disorderly conduct? That was the most orderly. All right, hold call on, hold on. Ever. Uh, Danny's good. Danny, go run down there with a cell phone. Don't get caught and tell us what the hell's going on because they took us. Oh wait, is he back? Who's this? Hey, it's Eric. All right, what's Eric? What's going on? The guy keeps taking the fuck, smacking the phone out of my hand and closing. He's like, I don't give a fuck who you're talking to. He's like, if you and he's sitting there trying to take my picture and everything. Just walk away, stupid. I'm not. I've been trying to, but the guy won't let me fucking get, get me go. Was he holding on to you? Yeah. He's not allowed to hold you. Yeah. That's assault. Punch him in the no, face. Just, Punch him in the friggin' no. nuts. I, have ID I said no. I just took a cab in, and he said, Well, how much you want to bet if I go through you? You got a lie. I said, you can't go through me. I don't know who the fuck you are. You're not a cop. He's not a cop. Run. run away. I'm trying to. Break loose and run. Break loose. Break loose. <laughs> Use one of those. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Use a master phone. Bad security can't tell him not oh, to be on the right. phone. Of course they can. And you can get... talk to anybody online. Is our guy going to get arrested with a fake no. Tony Danza? You can talk to anybody <laughs> online with a phone. Oh, you don't want to be at the tombs with a Tony Danza <laughs> show T-shirt on. All right, well. Uh... Hey, my thoughts and prayers with Eric. You know, <laughs> Danny can handle this because we right. need you for the okay. next segment. Yeah, but can Danny handle this, though, or should Steve go? No, this? Danny can handle this. He's good. D D just tell Danny to run, uh, run there with the phone. All right. All right? I got Steve's strategy. Steve will go there. They'll be upset, pull the fire alarms, because they'll see a blaze, <laughs> and he'll be having to make good his escape. Yeah, you weren't in Chicago overnight, were you? No, no, sorry. Oh, yeah. Saw some of your clothes <laughs> flying out a window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doing a little office work at night, were you? <laughs> How can they, this head of security smack his fault? Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Tony Dan's a security. It's a bully. That's all he is. He's intimidating him. He's probably, t he's huge. He's, he, I, I bet you he's a huge black guy that just thinks he can intimidate the shit out of Eric, and Eric's scared. Wow. Send Master Poe. Yeah, exactly. You know what? We really should. We should send Poe down send there. Send Poe down there. Oh. Spin kick the son of Go in and just kick ass on the Danza set. No, uh, but you know what? If Eric is going to be hassled physically, you can't have that. He can't, it can't happen to him. No, the guy could be arrested yes. for assault right there, just holding yeah, him. Yeah, just grabbing him. Just grabbing him. Just grabbing him as assault out of his. Absolutely not. You're allowed to go online and interview or talk to anybody Absolutely. you want. There's no can. security guy on a sidewalk. Well, what, can better somebody get Billy Mac or one of those guys on the phone? Billy Mac. Hey, Billy Mac. Master Poe. What's wrong? Eric's in trouble? Yeah, yeah one of our guys is in trouble. Yeah, he has no, no bullshit. He's online on the Tony Danza thing. He's getting the, arrested. The head of security won't. He was just on the phone. He wasn't doing anything. And the head of security is like, uh, like every time he tries to call the show, the head of security won't let him go. And he's like smacking his phone. And he's like, what exactly did he do? Just on the phone, just with the phone, like interviewing somebody on the line. Okay. This just in? He got away? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, good. Of course. Is he running? Yeah, he's running. I just told him I'm running in the middle of traffic. You know, that's how he just running. You could lose him. What did they do to him? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. Now you're They away. knocked okay. the cell phone out of his hand. Right. Yeah. We'll get the full okay. report we're, when Eric gets back here. Getting in contact with Keith. That's that you Bodily can't do that. holding him. Ex no, you can't do that. That's a, that's against the law. All right, we'll you find can't out. smack anything out of anyone. When Sex Bagel gets back, we'll find out exactly what happened. Okay? Dude, how I really think that if he smacked the phone out of his hand, Eric should file a report. Exactly. There's he nothing should. illegal about interviewing somebody on a line. Of course Why not. Why do we have to no. deal with cops again? Twice already? It's not against the law. No. Eric's not a disorderly it's guy. Not against the law. Maybe he can get free tickets for Tony. And he's a nice guy. He did nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Master Poe's going to lose his mind. Look at him. Well, he's, breathe. He's, he's taking the legal route. Breathe. Thoughts and prayers, Poe. Breathe. we no. got we to gotta get some boards in here that you can break when you just Ooh. get pissed off. We should contact Keith because, honestly... Well, we'll find out as soon as Eric gets here. That's wrong. Yeah, yeah that's wrong. I hope he's... I hope he's ditching the Tony Danza t-shirt where Master Poe ditched the bloody gee. The bloody gee <laughs> in a dumpster? <laughs> that would work. Ditch the evidence. <laughs> Eric, if you're listening to us, ditch the evidence. How is he listening to you? He doesn't have a... He didn't Maybe he has a wi -Fi. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Jeez, well, we'll find out what happens when he gets here, okay? Okay. All right, Poe. Breathe. Breathe for us, okay? Poe's uh, very pissed off. Eric right running now. down the street. Your mom's fine! <laughs> <laughs> Right, he got the word in. Great. Man, they've been waiting for us. We've been wondering. We were being set up. We were being lulled into a false sense of you security. You heard how sneaky we were. We didn't tell anyone. We just went to it real fast. He's there with the dopey shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> you know that pissed them off. Too bad. Not illegal. You can wear thing. whatever the hell you want. Says the Tony Danza show. Right. But why they ask if you were the other radio station? I Z100. guess it's okay if Z100 does it, but not us. Because Z100 isn't going isn't gonna to say things. Like, Tony needs his cock sucked. <laughs> uh, I, I think it might have been, from what I was gathering there, they, they, they think Eric was saying he was with the Opie and Anthony show, but he was really with Z100, so they wanted to know who was really at the bottom of this so they could get them in trouble. Oh, well. So they were trying to get Z100 in trouble, thinking it was Z100. That's mm -hmm. what I think. There you go. Uh, uh, I, uh, you don't, you know? Maybe, no, you might. I don't think they have a relationship with the Z100. They I, may have gotten I think wind. they thought Eric was lying and saying it was Opie and Anthony. I think Eric panicked and said I'm with Z100. Oh, you think Eric did that? Of course he did. Or he misrepresentation Would of you say you were with Opie and Anthony on the line? He probably just went, they probably went, who are you here with? You know, some... Oh, Z100, yeah, he does do that to get out of trouble. Oh, yeah, he did, and he us. figures out what's the faggiest radio station, so maybe right. they'll have, uh, you know, some sympathy for me. I'd love to find out what that scumbag security guard bullying a little Put blonde boy. Put the effing lotion in the basket. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. For the people basket. that are listening to us for free this week. Yes, this is from the musical, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, you didn't know there was a musical? Well, there isn't really. A couple of guys in California. The Kaplan together. Brothers. The Kaplan Brothers? The Kaplan Brothers. Very talented. They made a whole musical. 
out of Silence of the Lambs. And uh, this is one of the songs. It's put the effing lotion in the basket. It's one of our faves. Yes. And when we get back, I think Eric will be here. He I could run so. pretty fast, right? It's not that far away. No. We'll talk to Eric next. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this when it's told. All hell has broken... Wow, that was real loud. I had to stop. All hell has broken loose on the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Thanks to XM Satellite Radio. We're in the middle of our uh, free play, our free play week. Actually, not the middle. I guess halfway through tomorrow's show would be the middle, I guess. Right. Uh, Ernie from Nebraska. What's up, Ernie? I'm on just our list yesterday. you got a cool show going there. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you. Are you going to sign up or what? Are you going to pay the yep. two bucks or... Yep, sure am. Going to show us a little oh, love. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we got a customer. That's well, what we need to do, one at a time. Keep that time. checkbook away until January 1st, Ernie, because <laughs> it's free for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ernie, thank you. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you liking what you're hearing, you could, uh, you know, add us to your XM account, Opie and Anthony, channel 202. You call 1-800-XM-RADIO or subscribe on Line. You know what the nice thing about this giveaway for the extra, the rest of the month is? That money that you were going to put into getting the Opie and Anthony show, mm-hmm. use that towards Christmas gifts. All Don't right. worry about paying for this show till January 1st. Use Very that money good. for something else. It's a savings of at least a buck. Buck, buck something. Maybe buck a, something, Ope. A buck something. Attaboy. Right. Makes a great stocking More stuffer. than a buck, less than two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Phone call. All right, so Anthony, uh, wow. Oh. Eric is on his way back to the station. Yeah. He's a little chubby, or he'd be here by now. He's running. <laughs> well, he needs to work out a little, maybe tone up. A little, little, yeah. a little tone up would maybe be he, nice. Maybe he can replace one line with another line. <laughs> <laughs> to the Nagels listening in Florida, don't worry, your son did not get arrested yet. No, no he's fine. Um, he had to call up twice for us to tell him to run, though, which gets me... Yeah, I'm going mean, to have a briefing with some of these people, Opie, because the, the, the prime rule... For anyone out and about that is involved with this show on the street, ever, it ever, ever. Is to make sure you get arrested so we get the publicity? Well, yeah, that's the real thing. But, but we can't really say that. The official line we tell them <laughs> is to run. Or just walk away fast. They can't grab you for something like that. No, but apparently the security guard at the Tony Danza show grabbed Eric. They were and was holding us. him, uh, saying that the cops had been called and that he was holding him there bodily. And then would grab his cell phone or smack his cell phone out of his hand. Uh, this constitutes assault, Opie. Now, here's the problem. If the cops were called, then the cops will be here. Because now they have, to, they have to get to the bottom of it. Good. Let them. He can, Eric can call whoever he wants. Do you think New York's finest is going to take the time out to come down here after they talk to a Danza security guard and find out that nothing was happening? Danny. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Danny. Uh, uh, I just got to the line. There's no sign of Eric, uh, but but there is a big beefy security guard I could probably talk, talk to. <laughs> All right, yeah, ask him where Eric went. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait, we can't get our intern. Wait, wait, Danny. <laughs> yeah. Should we do that? He just wants to ask him, but maybe yeah. we should hear from Eric first. Yeah, why don't you just ask the security guard uh, what happened to the, the, the Eric guy, the guy from Z100. Right, the guy right. from... Hey, was there a guy here named Eric? From no. No. Because I'm, I don't know, I'm looking for him. I don't see him. I was wondering if uh, you might know where he is. He was interviewing uh, the Tony Danza audience sure. member. Uh, he has, he has no idea where Eric might be. All right. I wonder if that's the same guy. Yeah, I don't know. It could be a different guy. Okay. Uh, right. I'm peeking into the windows, looking for him inside. No, uh, no, Danny. Yeah. Eric ran away. Oh, <laughs> uh, he did run away. Yeah, he ran away. He made like a banana and split. Yes. All right. Cool. All right, thank you. He Rick ran like there. Bobby De Niro from a Norton photo op. <laughs> oh, God, that would hurt. <laughs> thank you, uh, Chief sh- Chief from New York. Does uh, he say line. that? Yes, I'm not going to say Call up Eric. I want to see where he is. We want to... Ben, Ope wants Eric on the phone. Get all the details. Yeah. So we've been doing this Tony Danza thing off and on for... Well, I guess that's only the third time, right? Yeah, that's only the third. Is my mic lower again? I don't know. Eric ran, man. Sorry, Somebody man. held Steve yeah. C's hat under his ass. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, from time to time we go out to the Tony Danza line as yeah. they're filing in to see that stupid show. And Anthony does a great Tony Danza impression. And have a little fun with it. And we have fun with the rubes that uh, are waiting to see Tony Danza. Because they, they're all rubes on that line. And they buy it every single time. Every single time. All happy to talk to Tony. We haven't been tripped up once. Do we have, like, the other one? 
all queued up. Maybe we can play this, and by the time this ends, Eric will be in studio. How does that sound? This was the dirty one. This is the dirty version? Yeah, this is pretty funny, though. So, we, you know, f- finally today they were on to us, and, and they caught us, and I don't know what's going to happen. Because they were trying to hold Eric there, the security guard, and supposedly the cops were called. I bet they had a big meeting about this a while back, and they were all psyched that it was happening today, probably on the walkie-talkies. <laughs> it's going down. It's going down on the line. He's out there. He's out there. Code blue. Code blue. He's on the line. Big meeting. All right, if it happens again, I want some fucking heads busted. <laughs> yeah, you know how he... Like Dan's in I, there with a baseball bat. I guarantee that's how he talks when he's not on, on his show. These fucking pricks <laughs> fuck with my show again. I want some blood on that fucking sidewalk. You hear me? I ain't the nice fucking Danza here today, pal. It's <laughs> all nasty. Like no. when they take the guy in, uh, back at the uh, of the casino and he's been yeah. cheating. Yeah. Oh, in uh, cool the cooler? Was that? No, no. I, I think. Uh, uh, yeah. What movie was that? Casino. Casino. And they take the guys you that were cheating. Oh, my God. Zach, you could have the money or your hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was also in the cooler. Yeah, they had a scene like that. It was. The cooler, yeah. Yeah. The cooler, yeah, yeah, but your like casino's like bigger. And it's Tony Danza. Hey, how you doing? Hey, why don't you come back here, huh? Yeah. You don't fuck with Danza. I'll give you the fucking Danza. No thoughts and prayers to this scumbag. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers to your face. When it hits the curb. We'll get someone. Huh? It'll happen. Oh, it'll happen. We'll get you. We'll get you. I don't know why we're so crazy obsessed with you. Why are we? <laughs> because because its its awfulness is it so really is. unbelievable. The only thing I, I've actually liked about Danza is that he's not a complete smooth talk show host, which I do kind of dig about him, but you know, I just he's just such a boob. All right. Well, why don't we play another one of these Tony Danza pranks as we wait for Eric to come back into the studio, and then we'll find out what happened today, okay? All righty. This is, uh, yeah, this is the dirtiest one I think Anthony did. Check this out. <laughs> well, uh, Anthony, we got uh, Sex Bagel on the line. We don't want to say where he is because it could ruin what we're about to do. What's Bob his Bob What's his name? Think? It's not up there. Sex Bagel. He works for us. Who? Eric. Yeah. He he works on the show. Oh, Eric. Yeah, you know Eric. I I I didn't know. It's not up on the uh, board. Eric. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hey, buddy. Hey, I have a lady right here. Not only is she a huge Tony Danza fan, she was telling me that she used to be on the Family Feud back in when nineteen. 19- 1993. Did you score big? We did talk shows and we won over $18,000. They won over $18,000 on the Family Feud. Wow, that's wonderful. Da, da, da. Did you tell her that we are uh, we're thinking about uh, putting our on the Tony Danza show today? Yes, I did. Then they're all excited. Her and her family is right here, and they're just waiting to speak to Tony. All right, and uh, where is she from? I'm sorry, where are you from? We are from New Jersey, uh, Surgeonsville. They're from Surgeonsville, New Jersey. Uh, all right, and uh, what's her name? Her name is Joan. I'm going to give her the phone right now and uh, just get Tony hey, ready. And he'll like Tony to character. All right, uh, let's get Joan on the phone here. Okay, here's Joan. Can you hear? Yeah, he's right on the phone. Hello, Tony. Hey, Joan, how you doing? I'm doing fine. We can't wait to come inside and see you in person. Well, I can't wait to have you on the show. Thank you. I, I mean, we watch it every day. We love it. I, I especially like the food, particularly. Oh, you like the cooking segments? I do. I like the CS food segments. Well, you know, I love to cook. Being Italian, you know, I uh, I, I cook a lot at home. Uh huh. And uh, my my uh, kids, uh, they get involved, and I think it's something a lot of people like, you know. Oh, you know what? I have a great recipe for um, spaghetti and clams. The white sauce. Spaghetti and clams. That's my favorite. So you know, I'll send you the recipe. You got a fantastic recipe for that? Yeah, I'll send it to you. You know something? Hey, one day I would love to have you maybe come on the show as a, you know, a listener cooking segment or a, a viewer cooking segment. Oops. And oh, I would uh, love to. And we could I'd have we, we could have you uh, uh, cook uh, you, you, your special. Wonderful, wonderful. Actually, you know, if you ever come over to New Jersey, you can come out to Surgeonsville. We live way out in the country. And it's a beautiful area, close to the Delaware River. Oh, you have a nice place out there? Oh, yeah. So, you know, we'll cook your spaghetti and clams first. You might as well taste it before before it's aired. Yeah, I should taste it first. <laughs> I like taking a little taste before I dip in, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, how long you been a, a, a fan? You, you remember me from Taxi? I'm sorry, Tony. I couldn't understand that. Hey, you remember me from my old days in Taxi? Oh, 
Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We've been following your career. I, you know, I know that you do That's uh, gonna stop. shows in Atlantic City. We're about two hours away from Atlantic City. Oh, two hours. So you go there a lot. Say that again? So you, you go to Atlantic City a lot. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I was... love going there to gambling. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Boys, yeah. <laughs> It's oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Absolutely. You all get on the big uh, loser bus and uh, take that down there? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's great. Are you going to be in Atlantic City soon? Well, uh, yeah, you know, I got uh, I got my album, so I, I like to sing. And I, I go down there to Tropicana, and uh, I get up there, and, uh, you know, I whine, and the rooms give me money. It's fantastic. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, I have a cousin who happens to own a condo right on the boardwalk at the end oh. of the casinos, and uh, it is just fabulous to go and visit him. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yes. You know something? What? You sound like a big Tony Danza fan. I am the biggest Tony Danza fan. So I want to do something a little special for you. Oh, thank you, Tony. Here it comes, kids. Hold on to your hats. Okay. I need um, a little relaxation before the show. You know, it's a stressful situation being out there. I'm kind of new to the talk show thing. You understand? Yes. So I'm thinking I could use a little company uh, in the dressing room. Oh, my goodness. How would you like to come backstage and hang out with me while I get ready for the show? I would love it. I would love it to... Um... <laughs> Do I bring my family? Me. Excuse me? Just me, or do I bring the three people I came with? Well, who do, who do you have with you? My husband is here, and um, two friends, Karen and Phyllis. Your husband's there? Yes. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Can you see where this is going? I can. Now, I'd like, I'd like you, you, you know something? Bring the whole family with you. Okay. Backstage so to hang out with me before the show, because I need to relax a little bit. Okay, great. That's great. Well, you are just so special to say that. Thank you so very I much. I love being special. And you, you know what relaxes me? What's that? I love to relax with you. Strap in, kids. <laughs> you, know what re you know what relaxes me backstage? Excuse me? You know what relaxes me backstage in my dressing room? Sure. A nice fucking blowjob. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I missed that on the phone. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, should I? Tony likes having his hog suck before I got to placate to the rubes out there. I would never use a word like placate. What, am I insane? <laughs> before I, I entertain all the rubes out there in my audience. Oh, okay. I like blowing a load on someone's face. And you seem like that person. <laughs> okay. Should I, should I give this phone to Eric so he knows what's going on? You better give it to him so he can run as fast as he can away from your husband when okay. you tell him the news that you'll be backstage sucking Tony Danza's cock. Okay. Fantastic. I heard what you said. I'm going backstage, Eric. Okay. Okay, here. I'm going to give you to Eric so you can tell him what's going on. Fantastic. Okay, see you soon, Tony, and thank you so much. You certainly will. All right, I will come back right out. And I'll have a hey, run, Eric, run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. Yeah, you can come home. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, is she telling uh, her husband right now? Yeah, we can end it right there. So there's another example of what we did uh, with the rubes that wait online outside the Tony Danza show. Yeah. That was uh, the dirtier one. It's a fun little so gag. So we, we decide if you're just tuning in to go today and do it again, and, and, and you might have heard it. If not, uh, the replay's coming up in, with le in less than an hour. You'll hear it. And there's uh, major controversy now. Eric is back in the studio. So, Eric, what happened? We were convinced we were going to get away with it again. Yeah. Well, you did to, a, to an extent, but as soon as she handed the phone back to me, I turn around, and there's this guy right there. And he, he starts going, who are you? Who are you working for? I didn't give him a name or who I was working for, right? So, I, as I said on the phone, I'm like, this guy wants proof that I'm, I'm with, and I said, another company. Of course. All right, and he said, and then he takes the phone out of my hand, and he closes the phone like this. Just slaps it down, and he gets in my face. Then he pulls me by my, my left shoulder So here. he did put his hands on you. He, he and pulled my shoulder, pulled me just, I mean, it wasn't like vicious. 
but it was like about a foot away from where the line is where everybody is. It's assault. And he gets right in my face, and he goes, I can have you arrested for disorderly contact, disrupting the show, and he's going through all this other stuff. I said, I'm Cannot. on a public sidewalk with a cell phone talking to another right. person. So he's just getting right in my face, and these two other guys come out from the uh, from the building, look like cops, but not really cops kind of thing. Dan's a security. Yeah. So they come out there, and they're standing there, and they've got a list. They've had some paper in the hand, and they're going over the thing, and I gave them a fake name, and they're, they're just shaking their heads because that name's not on the list. I guess they researched the show. They have a list of everyone he, he involved wanted with to, this He program. was trying to get me to say I was with Opie and Anthony. Right. He was trying. So, and I was saying, I'm not with them. I what said, was they're this another list? company. What was in like the I, I couldn't the book. see it. They wouldn't show it to me. But no, they had it. But they're going down this list here. This, probably, I saw a white piece of paper. There's probably a list with all our faces and our names and all that. Great. <laughs> saying we've had nothing but problems from this show. We don't want these people out there. We've been instructed to get rid of these people or do whatever's necessary to get rid whatever's of these people. Whatever's necessary. Well, that's Tony Danza. Behind the scenes, probably. A Assaulting our uh, staff on the, on a public sidewalk. What happened with the phone? You kept calling in. The phone kept going down. The guy kept shutting the phone. How, How, on How the can you do that without touching you? Like, All right. At this point, when he pulls me aside and he's telling me, no, you cannot do that, right? Um, the first time he, he closes the phone. And he's yelling at me. Ben calls. So I open the phone again. I'm, t I'm talking to Ben for maybe... And he's maybe... holding on to you at this point? No, he, no, he let me go. He just pulled me one quick second away oh, okay. from the line and then let me go. He wasn't still holding me. Was he pulling you on your Tony Dancer t-shirt? No, I that hit that real quick. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> I had the jacket right up there buttoned. I was like, he's not seeing that shirt. <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, we're all on the same team. Yeah. <laughs> we all work for uh, Tony. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I'm standing uh, on the sidewalk there, right? Ben calls. I talk to Ben maybe three to five seconds. All of a sudden, out of my hand again, click. He's He's got my phone now. He took my phone. He took the phone out of your hand. Opened, Another, uh, opened uh, my charge. phone and starts hitting buttons trying to see what's in the phone. He, like He's trying to find out where my phone book is on the phone, trying to find who who I just dialed oh. and hey, all that. Columbo, right? knock so, it off. How much... How, uh, this guy... Wants so bad to be some type of a cop. cop. Yep. Yeah. He's a that him. he's he's now this is his big chance with his book with our, our names in it oh. and grabbing the phone and trying to get numbers out of your phone. That's invasion of privacy. So as soon as he's doing that, I take the phone back and I close it. Right. I said, What are you doing? And he said, Let me see some ID. I said, I don't have ID. I took and a I don't cab have here. To show right? you. He goes, How much you want to bet if I go through your pockets right now, I find a wallet. And he's pointing to my left side here, which is my keys and my, and my other yeah. phone. Big lump. And I said, those are keys? And I said, and you're not searching me. Now, this time, I realize I'm standing at the edge of the curb, so I walk into the street. Now I'm in the street. He comes right to the edge, but he won't walk into the street. And he's still yelling at me, the two other guys. doesn't matter, the sidewalk or the street. It, it's I not know, but I, I, ben, is like, ben just goes, run into traffic. So I'm trying to get into traffic. You're going to be a fine parent, Ben. Yes. <laughs> so I'm go, trying ben. to get into traffic. There's cars coming, so I'm stuck between that little gap of the street and, and the actual traffic, and those other guys are blocking me, so I can't move anywhere. And then I, I'm trying to get on the phone again, and the phone just, the, the last time it crapped out, but... <laughs> there you go. Oh. There he goes, run, running across the street. <laughs> I got, just run into traffic. Hey, what's all that racket outside? I'm trying to do a show. I got to be honest. I don't think there's anything illegal about you being out there talking to people. There isn't. No. No, you can. And I think that the, the public sidewalk, you have, you might have to. We might have to call and say, look, this guy grabbed you. He's shutting your phone. That can't happen. He grabbed you. He. My I don't care if he assaulted. He just pulled me a foot. That's assault. He kept yeah. taking your phone and shutting. You can't touch and somebody else's. Yeah. And then he started property going through the phone. Is also another yeah. uh, charge. Yeah. So, uh, what was going on with the lady that you talked to? Uh, she, she was cool. The, the, they, there was like a party of eight from Philadelphia. Yeah. It was like grandmothers, granddaughters, do and regular daughters. There's a whole big family affair because one of them was getting married next week. Yeah. So they came up to go to the right. Tony Danza show, and they were all excited. They were having a blast talking on the phone. They were all sitting there, Danny DeVito, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're oh, all yeah, they're and trying then, to come up with the names of the people that Tony couldn't remember. And one of the older ladies is tapping on her, like, he's got a CD, get a CD. Then she goes, oh, yeah, uh, can we get a CD? And, of course, Tony said yes. Of course. <laughs> what a good egg. What a good guy. Oh, one of the other things he told me, too, when he goes, I, I, I guess you said, uh, give Tony a kiss on the cheek. That's how you, you know, that's how you get in favor with Tony. And he, and he starts listing these other things, which were never said, but I, I didn't hear the phone call, mm. so I don't know. So I was like, I, I said, dude, I'm standing right next to you. I did not hear that phone were call. Were they listening? 
Somewhere. They might have an XM there. They have an XM I in there. They, uh, like the and the Anthony security show. probably Good. Not, they're they're probably their job when that line is out there to listen yeah. to this program. Well, I did a contest with those guys too for a free XM. Go home. Just go home. Jesus. Just go home. Can you get me a coffee while you're out there looking yeah. for a rope? Yeah. Please go home. Just just go. Walk away. Play the Hulk music. Do something. Get him oh. out of here. <laughs> they can't they can't ask you for ID or anything. You're not running into the building causing it. You're on a phone. Yeah. I didn't give him a thing. Didn't tell you him my name. Have. Didn't tell him who I worked for. You took your pinch like a man. You didn't yeah. rat. That's right. Oh, De Niro again. Uh, we can't tell him. Well, anymore. Master Poe is pacing. Like a mother hen. Yeah, he's freaking I out. Get, he's positioning me outside now. How did he come at you? What angle? How, where, did where, he come how at was you? the grip? Yes, this is the real deal. Master Poe, share the mic with Eric. Yeah, okay, that was assault, and uh, we should call the cops right now. That is assault. Right now. He was I, a, You were assaulted I, on a right public now. sidewalk I by do agree. some stupid security guard. Well, Master Poe, that's your call, obviously. You know, Master Poe is very pissed off because yes. he's. I need looks someone to call 911. He us. He's like, a, he's like a mother hen, one of yeah. his, you know, ducklings. If that guy grabs you like that, you would not You would have taken that as, as an assault. Like you would have taken and, and reacted as an assault. Well, by law, you're not supposed to grab someone. And if you are, if someone is attacking you or if someone is actually trying to grab you, immediately you can defend yourself. So it's self-defense. Yeah. And in his case, I don't know, you know, what the guy looks like or what skills he has. It doesn't matter. He's supposed to be a professional. You can't put your hands no, you on cannot. anybody. It be doesn't even matter how it is. If, if you put your hand on someone's back... Like, like uh, you want to ask him a question, and you put your hand on his back. Once the hand touches somebody, you can be charged with assault if that yes. person wants to charge Like you. an umpire back at, like, Earl Weaver used to turn his hat around, because if your hat touches the umpire, you were thrown out of the game. Right. Any type of contact. Right. Plus, I believe it's also robbery, because he grabbed the, the, the well, phone there's something there. out of his hands. There's something else there. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm yeah, not a police officer. Phone. Let's, go, let's well, get no, all the police officers no 9 -1 -1. out there. I don't want to tie up emergency lines with that, but, but uh, we should call, uh, call a precinct. And and do something about that. You I haven't think they talked gotta to. Be, I think they need a talking to. We got an expert Perhaps on the line. Perhaps a bit more. Keith the cop, what's up? Good morning. I just got a call from uh, Clubby. He needs to be uh, corrected. Everything okay. Well, hey Ben. Um, our our boy uh, Sex Bagel was roughed up a little bit outside the Tony Danza show. <laughs> he was assaulted by a uh, by a Tony Danza security guard. <laughs> well, what 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 do we have here? What are the facts? The facts are uh, Eric was on the sidewalk while the line was going into the Tony Danza show. Okay. He gave a woman that was online the telephone, and she got to speak with Tony Danza. Oh, yeah. And Eric might have been impersonating a worker from the Tony Danza show. An right. An employee. Yeah. So uh, uh, after the phone call's done, Eric takes the phone back. A security guard uh, for the Danza show, I believe, comes up to, to Eric and grabbed him by his shoulder and pulled him over to him. And uh, started telling him how he wasn't uh, allowed to do that, how it was uh, disorderly, uh, disorderly conduct, conduct disruption, of the, show. disruption right. of the show, all kinds of stuff that could get him, uh, uh, he, he thought could get him in trouble. But the fact of the matter is, the only person that did anything wrong was the security guard by touching Eric. And right. he kept taking his phone. Eric's trying to call the right. show. The guy keeps snatching and the his guy phone. the guy snatched the phone out of Eric's hand and started going through his phone book trying to find numbers in there. Uh, after that, Eric just uh, finally got away from the guy and, and ran back to the studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we want to, you know, maybe some uh, somebody could go over there and speak with the security guard because I think uh, Eric feels that charges should be filed for assault. Well, I wouldn't say it's an assault. I'm going to have to say it's more of a harassment. Yes. But this is the angle I'm going to work on this whole thing, and it might work for us. If we can get Tony Danza to staple his ball bag to his leg, I think we can get Tony Danza about a million and a half in bail. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> Why isn't that assault? Uh, because in the statutes of the law for harassment, it's push, shove, kick, punch. It really really doesn't go What's further assault? than that. We're kind of sounding faggy is what yeah. you're saying, huh? Well, yeah. No, but harassment is still good, though. It's still something. That's a good one. It is something. He can't just do that. He can't just snatch his phone and go through it on a public sidewalk. We want to teach these talk show line security people <laughs> that they can't get away with this kind of stuff. Brown shirts. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, he was talking to Tony. You know, she lady was talking to Tony. I don't know what this guy's problem is. I know. She was very happy. We're making people on the line happy. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, out of line. But, yeah, harassment, uh, maybe I could work something with snatching the phone out of his hand. Yeah. 
I don't know how happy they would be over at the precinct. But, you know, listen, this is a violation of his rights, and it's not. We just want to know if we could violate someone with a billy club. That's all we need to know, Keith. Right. <laughs> Can we drag someone down to the precinct and give them the business in the, in the men's uh, bathroom? We, we might be able to work something along those lines. <laughs> if you can't find anyone, I'll play the part of the prisoner. <laughs> Did Obi say mother hen and yes. baby ducklings? You guys let me slide on that one. I not, even, not, not the audience. <laughs> I know. Killer Kitten's like, mother hen and baby duckling, Obi. Why not just say elephant with a baby cub, jackass? <laughs> That's another time where I start sweating going, oh, please. They didn't hear that, did they? <laughs> the audience catches everything. Oh, are you ratting me out, Killer Kitten? Thanks. Now, what do we do? We want this guy uh, brought up. Uh, I think... <laughs> After the uh, show, Let's just, we're going to just go for street justice. <laughs> uh, well, if we don't go for the street justice, how about after the show? I'll talk to Eric and we'll uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Let's do that. I'll make a couple phone calls. Very good. All right. Thank you, sir. I, yeah, a lot back. of people are calling us a bunch of faggots on the instant feedback. <laughs> Why? They're like, shut up, Sol. They want to know if uh, Sex Bagel was very injured. Eric was very injured. He grabbed me, and I was hurt. Well, were you physically hurt? Well, my feelings were very hurt, and I felt ashamed. I was standing on the sidewalk, and he pushed me and took my phone. He went through my phone book and realized I have no friends and pointed that out to me. I was very embarrassed. He was hurtful. <laughs> I, I just think that if I did get the call and I showed up and Eric told me that he was uh, working the line to see if any ladies wanted to, you know, lick Tony's mule, and uh, then, the, then the security guy pushed me, it's a little hard to write up in the report, you know, but uh, I, I'm going to try and work an angle. All right. It's a radio show uh, doing an on-the-street interview. Can't, That's right. That's pretty him. much what it was. Can't touch him. I no. Have, I have one question. Yes, Master uh, Poe. Hey, Keith, isn't there a progression when it comes to, uh, this is for the listeners out there, because they're saying that, you know, Eric is a, a, a wimp, the way he responded or the way that we're responding. I think Poe's How, saying that, Eric. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. Actually, there's a progression. If someone is coming at you verbally, that's step number one. Then they're going to come at you physically. And in this case, he grabbed him. All right, so after that, he's going to throw a punch and hit him in the face. Yes. Come on, you have to draw the line somewhere. What country are we living in? Um, Russia. Um, uh, I mean, where are we? Where are we? Uh, Canada. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I personally think that uh that it was wrong for him to do that, and that no, wasn't it, professional. It was it's just that you know how wrong was it? I mean, you know, All right. in the eyes of the law. Gotcha. I, I don't think it's a felony, but I do think that maybe uh, the security guard needs a talking to. Because this way, if there's nothing wrong with one of our guys talking to somebody on the phone there. That, that's not illegal and it's allowed. Too bad they're lining up for your show. Stop using the public sidewalk then, assholes. Make them line up in the studio. Oh, we'll be back. Eric oh, is, we'll be back. Eric is a very willful young boy. Yeah. Rather naughty. We're going to be back. Naughty. All right, Keith. Thanks. All right. I'll catch up. Your son you. is attempting thanks to bring for being the party pooper an outside radio show into this <laughs> situation. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys. Bye, Keith. Yeah. Um, and goes and the you never even pooper. mentioned oral. You said just a back rub. You of didn't say. course I did. Did you? Not that that makes any difference, but... And I do believe that ends the Tony Danza saga for today. There you go. Yeah. Danza's a bully. <laughs> Danza's brown shirts. Yeah. Nazis. Should we tell Paul he won the MiFi, I guess? Oh. Yeah. Jeez, he's still out there. Yeah. We'll make sure Tony doesn't take it from him on the oh. way out. Oh. Let's bring, Snatch it out of his hand. Let's bring Paul back in from Jersey. He won the MiFi. If you want to win a MiFi, we're still seeing what you would do to win a MiFi, mm -hmm. the Portable XM satellite radio. Just um, email us at opianthony.com or foundrymusic.com. Okay. I just think it's hysterical that we found out that they really do listen. Oh, that's great. Yeah. To this program. I really thought we were going to get away with it again. Web page. We haven't mentioned it in weeks. We're, we're going to have to use code words now when we go to do it. Code words? We didn't say. Also, we just went to the phone and you started the bit. Right. Yeah, and they were on us like we that. Get away with it in the future. We'll figure it out. So what kind of co-work can you use for? Oh, Danza? we'll be back. Maybe you play the <laughs> maybe you play the retard singing time of my life, and that's the Danza signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Oh yeah, we will. Oh yeah. So you won the my fight, Paul. Congratulations. There you go, Thank my you. friend. Thank you, guys. Bravo. You are a good egg. You took it like a man. His tongue revolted. <laughs> All right. Barfed a little bit, but uh, you did a good job. Thank you. You want to say anything? Any plugs? Anybody mm. you want to say hi to? I got nothing going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really don't. <laughs>
the guys back at the gardening center. Oh yeah, those the gardening center. Gardening. Gardening. Guys back in the gardening center. The gardening yes. center. The guys watching the azaleas with machine guns. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll play a little cute thing here. Take a break. What is it, Ope? We'll get into something. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, I just duck job. Aw. A little duck job thing, and then uh, we'll continue. I'll it's play. Something new. I don't know if we have time to play the racist songs today. Do we Aww. Um, you want to just try to end with that today? That's kind of fun. They are pretty nasty. All right, we'll try to do that next. Oh, oh my God, I feel so good. They're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. A lot of fun today. Hope you're enjoying the program. Oh, yeah. It's part of our free play. Uh, I don't know. If you like what you're hearing, you could add us to your XM account. It don't cost nothing. You can call 1-800-XM-RADIO or subscribe online and just add us to your XM account. Opie and Anthony, High Voltage 202. Right. We're still working with that High Voltage name, huh? Yeah. They just don't listen to us. It we want the nothing. virus. We want the virus or something that makes sense. Or something with Opie too. and Anthony in it so there's a name recognition. There you go. I never liked high voltage because it just... <laughs> Is that electricity? Yeah. Very I, good. Think cause <laughs> we're, I think because we're shocking. And it's just like... Uh, well, if, wait, just, can we get a little more creative than that? We have a conference call today? Oh, that's oh. good. That should get a oh, lot done. Oh, no, no. I got, I got an email. Oh, what? Yeah. that. Uh, no conference today? No conference call today. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I'm not... I want to discuss this high voltage name. Let me let me, let me check. Are they? Um, I will be traveling to Nashville, so we should cancel the post show call today. I'll be available by cell phone this afternoon if you need me at two zero two two nine seven. But I won't do it. Stop shaking. Yeah, just sit around your hotel room all afternoon long, just waiting for that cell phone to ring. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen. Yeah. Yeah, so no uh, no post show oh, that's great. conference call today. Cool. All I'm right. Happy. I don't like the fact that your names aren't in the title of that uh, channel. Well, uh, yeah. Well, we've been saying that we've been saying a lot of things for a long time. Okay. We got some um, racist music, and I I gotta tell you, I wanted to hate this stuff, but as far as comedy goes, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's uh, it's very hateful. The lyrics very hateful and hurtful, Opie. So it's. Uh, People are offended. I understand People are very that. Offended by it. Um, they're it's, it's definitely a, stereotyping. <laughs> it's hate music. It'll be number one with a bullet in Boston. Some oh, of these Boston will love this. BCN yeah. should add the record. Yeah, Boston it does rock. Yeah, Boston, crank up this uh, next segment. You're gonna love it. I'll give it that. And also, um, they make a point <laughs> that a lot of black groups, uh, groups. One of my Larry Jeez, King. Larry. <laughs> you know, a lot of the uh, combos. <laughs> uh, a lot of the Negro combos put together songs. You know, they uh, they write a lot of anti-white stuff and black power stuff and black empowerment music. And then when Whitey tries it, uh, it there's a big problem. Then it's racist music. And uh, these guys just decided to uh, put together some white power, anti anti-white uh, uh, people are. are Dissed in this opie. Blacks, Mexicans. Well, uh, the first song is called People Haters. It's People a song about haters. the white. The white. Uh, <laughs> the Wigger, as they call them. Correct. The Wigger. So, what's this guy about? Uh, the article was in Newsweek. I think 2020 is going to do a whole <laughs> thing on him or 60 Minutes, one 20, of those. 20. 60 Minutes or one of them? I don't know. Steve knows that, but. I saw it on Newsweek. Yeah, it's in Newsweek, and then 60 Minutes is going to do something, Steve? Yeah, 60 Minutes is actually taping in the past. Of Minnesota today. I love when he doesn't put his headphones on. He just talks right Steve. over the yes. music. All right, so uh, we caught his attention because we saw this article in Newsweek. Ben brought it to our attention. Yes. And what's this guy all about? Well, his name is Byron Culvert, and he's got a record company. And five years old, it's becoming the top white power. He's five years old? What? Go ahead, talk. <laughs> no, no. What? His Ben's trying to... Ben Sanderis. <laughs> I can't help Northern it. Norton's just pointing at his mule. <laughs> I can't help it if your sweater doesn't cover that bulbous, that bulbous appendage. Anyways, oh is my it, God, <laughs> you totally flustered him. He goes, uh, just like, oh, oh, yeah, and yeah. just points at I his know. mule, and it completely <laughs> flustered Ben. 
Anyways, they distribute 100,000 of these CDs to schools, and he's got that whole drug dealer philosophy. We hook them with the music, and then the kids learn and buy more online. He says, we, ju we just don't entertain racist kids. We create them, and they're yeah. online to make a million but, bucks this year. But how big is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Parento over there. Hey, Relax. hey come on now. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, so, so these guys are handing these CDs out at schools? Yeah. What, what grade? It's Does a, it say 13, like, 13 to 19 year olds. 13 to 19 year olds. They're yeah. handing out junior these highs. And, and they're from uh, high Minnesota? Yeah. 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 So I guess it's within that area or all over the country? It doesn't say actually wow. in the article, but yeah. What do they do? They just give they give these CDs to kids at school to put in the front of their jeans? <laughs> don't put them on hold. <laughs> Fucking people don't listen. Jesus. Steve, Steve really has to start listening. Why? Oh. The Steve, music. Not now. Steve, Steve's not, not now. Steve doesn't listen. No, he's a... Uh, he works really hard, and, and because he works so hard, he doesn't sleep, and he doesn't listen. I no. said not now. We you didn't say not now, but he said... No. You might have said not now, but he said, get him on the phone and keep him talking. He was, he was talking to him, so he wasn't going to hear him. No, no, no. Just not now. He's waiting for our call. We'll, we'll talk to him. All right? Fine. Fine. Whatever. And this fucking guy's going to giggle and make me look like a fucking flaming jackass. <laughs> well, yeah, well, the flaming the, the flaming's the hat. I know. You know what? But you know no, what? No, no, he was just talking to him off the line. There wasn't anything well, there. Let's all get if on the same page. I don't want him. I don't want no. Okay. I don't want him on hold or anything oh, yet. Oh, I don't know what you mean. All he right. wasn't putting him on hold. Shut up, you. I don't know what you mean. I'm just trying to Steve, just punch I'm trying him to in figure the face. It, out. it looks like a big juicy dilemma. See, I, I can't you can punch him in the face. I can't punch Ben in the face because if I, I punch Ben in the face, he's and jerking. How do you hit him? I'll, I'll miss him. He's hurking and God jerking. There's the no I'll do some hitting. Permanent him. damage to poor Ben. I don't want to do that. And you got that deep bass voice. You got to, you know, put your headphones on because you're just blowing everyone away. Yeah. Wow. Also, it's like. <laughs> oh man. All right. Sorry, Steve. Holy jeez. Okay, dude. What? what? Steve was pissed. Oh, well, he was hot. I understand, but... He was hot under the <laughs> collar and on top of his head. His he was really hot sleeping? under the ankles. <laughs> what? Oh. Are you sleeping? No, no, I was just yeah, thinking was, of something. He was asleep. Oh, oh my God, asleep. Ross is sleeping during the show. You are an old man. Right? He, he nods thanks, off Steve. like I was, a grandpa. I was going like... I was thanks. thinking of something. Way to support your, your friends. What were you thinking of? The show stinks that bad, you have to fall asleep. He was asleep. What were we just talking about? You asleep. What just happened? I can tell you everything that just happened. Okay, what? What happened? Steve came in here... Pack of lies. He, Steve came in here because he was uh, accused of uh, the phone, whatever, and Ben, he didn't want to hit Ben in the bobbing okay. hand. Okay, well, what, right. what, what, what limb did Ben admit that he's smuggling in the front of his pants? <laughs> the one that he was blocking with his CD. I, was, I just closed my eyes because my head, went from, when you scratch behind your ear real hard, I get a headache. So I was closing my eyes. I'm not tired at all. He was asleep. You I was not asleep. asleep. You I were asleep. Was I drooling? If I you was drooling, asleep. then I'd be asleep. Cannoli cock, did you notice that he was asleep? <laughs> you, we should have just let him... I know. Let, let him continue. No, I was. Just, I swear to God, I was. You asleep. just fell asleep. You I know he was honest. asleep because the listeners are writing. Voss was funnier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Voss is old. All right, so we're gonna talk to the guy in a minute or two, but I wanted to play some of the songs first, right. Anthony. Yeah, don't put him on hold. Just call him when you're ready for him. That's what I'm saying. I hear you, Ope. All right, use that phone that's in the front of Ben's so, pants. Yeah. Are, are all these songs on the same CD? It's like how many college students could fit in that is, one? Is it a compilation disc? Yes, from different artists, Steve. What? Oh. Steve, you can come back in. We're not going to bite you. Come on in, Steve. Oh, this is the same artist? Same artist? Same artist is on those tracks, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, just play it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. What? Those are all by the same artist, yeah. That's oh, a, really? a group called the People Haters. But the compilation that he's handing out is a bunch of different artists. Problem is, and I had this conversation with him last night, it's all a lot of this grindcore, hardcore stuff that you can't understand the lyrics. So I wanted to make sure the stuff what that he gave us. What good is racist music if you can't understand the exactly. hateful lyrics? What's the first song called? Uh, People Haters. It's white. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Bigga boo. Wow. Well, it's I catchy. like it. It's catchy. Kind of rocks. Oh, wait. Have we uh, officially started the most offensive song contest, too? I think some of these might be contenders. That one, he, the guy doesn't like uh, watching the white guys walk around uh, uh, talking with a black uh, dialect and uh, wearing the pants around their uh, their ass. Things like that, I guess. So we wrote that little, uh, the little ditty. It <laughs> is embarrassing to see a white guy behaving like that. Just yeah. to see such a desperate need to assimilate to be accepted so he doesn't right. get beat up. It's, it's conquering somebody that you think is going to hurt you. Word. Word. No, man, Word. I know what you're saying. Not that no, I mind I'm Danny saying. tilting his hat to the left. <laughs> Our own Danny does tilt no, his hat No, but Danny to talks left. normal, but he's got his hat cocked like All he's right. ready for anything, dog. Well, the next song is called... Speaking uh, of cocked, Ben. <laughs> we're, we're trying to sample this, Anthony. Trying to understand. A little I sample, guess. sure. Um, the second track is called The Towel Is Not a Hat. A Towel <laughs> Is Not a Hat. Well, that's, that's a good one. Okay. The greatest thing I've ever heard. Middle Eastern sound. That's actually a cool sound right there. Pretty good. Go to the store. Get the room. Another CDA crap. Worse than a shoe. Ever heard a song? You smell like fucking shit. With that doll on your head. You make me fucking sick. <laughs> Tell us on the head. Yeah. Pick up your fucking towel. Just a towel head. Let him up or do it. Get the work speed up. Brings his whole family. Gonna rip you off. Better kill your chain. Rag on your head. Cover greasy mane. There you have it. A towel is not a hat, wow. Anthony. That's just dead. imagine the death moshing that goes on I during know. that. You just know they're killing each other, doing the Hitler salute, and like wailing into each other's faces with their crew cuts. That's such oh. a good song, though. It's a great a song. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. There was one part where it said, worse than the Jew. I knew you Yeah, yeah, that. Arab, You're... worse than the Jew. So, see that? What? And he's what? right. He's falling what? asleep on the radio show. Radio show. <laughs> radio <laughs> show. Falling asleep on a radio show. <laughs> yes. I stink. Well, you know, it happens. A little yeah. radio, radio. Another sample here, Anthony? What is it? Uh, well, the gays aren't safe either. Oh, the gays? Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the, the hate uh, hate guys. You know, they usually hate the blacks and the Jews and stuff, but I'm not a big fan of the gays either. I think gays are number one. Ooh. No. Jews. Gays are two. Oh. The legendary story with Mick I Jagger. know, it's so what? Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger? Freddy 
He's a shit dick. Truman Capote, shit dick. Everybody. Richard Simmons, oh. shit dick. Rod Stewart, shit dick. Jim Norton, shit dick. Hey, whoa. Shit chest. That's right. Ben Sparks, big dick. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> shit chest uh, and big dick. That's our song. Rich Voss, shithead. <laughs> uh, there's got to be an anti Jew song on there. Uh, yeah, what about well, it? a song called Afro. Uh, that's probably not it. A shit dick. That's the greatest shit thing ever. Really how, how, that's already probably going to be a message board name. Yeah. Oh, shit dick says. <laughs> I just. I don't want to focus on one group. I don't want to have an agenda well, here. Well, Good point. Have, they have a song called Afro and Day of the Rope and Ebonics. Uh, we can play Spick Kill Ya. <laughs> Spick Kill Ya? Yeah. He doesn't Wait, I guess man. that's the Hispanic. He, he doesn't like the wetbacks coming to this country. All right. <laughs> well, going back to shit the, the guy. Shit dig. God, I'm going to think da, of it. Da, da, da. That might replace uh, it boots the lotion in the bubble. I like that. Oh, shit. Dang. Here's Spick Kill Ya. <laughs> what an <All> asshole. <laughs> 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 They're all the fences. They're coming through the truck. They're coming through the sewer. They're coming in trucks. Electrify the fences, eh? Yeah. Do yourself a grease and stick. Gotcha. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Peanut's coming over the border. It's catchy. I like Mexican radio better. I'm on a Mexican <laughs> radio. Yeah. He comes out with baked beans on his face. Yeah. A radio. Radio. I understand, radio. The, I understand the hate angle in these songs, but they're also kind of silly. They're fantastic songs. Yeah, and people aren't going to take their hate serious, uh, seriously if they, they kind of put them into catchy, funny songs like that. You know what? You sound like a real shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy Robinson's so much better than you. I think we have another song here, Anthony. Uh, do you have the last one? Uh, oh, yes, yes, the one for, uh, well, what they call the preverts. The preverts? Yeah, yeah. They're really not a big fan of the preverts. All right, let's hear that one. This is. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Boss, that's funny. You can laugh. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't hear it. I didn't get it. Uh, you really got to get an XM radio. How do you not have an XM radio? Do you Mike know? Brady, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Reed, shit dick. Greg Brady, shit dick. Hey, 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 ho, he's a friend of ours. Hey, hey. He invite you over for dinner one night? <laughs> he's married with a kid. A beard. Guys that don't put in your razors <laughs> fast enough at any W, shit dicks. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, 
That's so inside, I just got hit in the thigh. <laughs> Intern that bangs your $1,000 hooker for free all weekend long. Thought he, was a, he thought he was a shit dick. Fuck. <laughs> God, I suck. <laughs> thought he was a motherfucker. I thought he had a fish. Thought he <laughs> Goddamn ass. That's right. Aha, uh -huh, those, uh, those were shit dicks. What is this? A string of shit dicks. <laughs> those were shit dicks. Mr. Fabershan. <laughs> oh, God, I suck. I'm Almost sorry. made it all the way through that, and I, I screwed it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, problem? Mm -hmm. Problem? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see Opie got, just got a note. A communique, Anthony, a communique. So Urgent there's communique. There's a Q and a U in that. Stephen Lynch has a song called Vanilla Ice Cream. Have we ever heard that one? Yeah, he played it live on the show. Oh, he, he doesn't like white people. He likes the Mocha Girls and all everybody else. That's but the white Oh, right, I do remember that. That's, That's a good, good song. Yeah, yeah, I just put it in there yeah. in case you wanted it. All right. Well, considering we're just trying to waste time now, sure. Why don't we play that, Stephen Lynch? Ah, uh, yes, our buddy Stephen Lynch. Nice. Yes. Nice. Didn't that heal everything? Vanilla, uh, vanilla ice cream, right? We're just about yeah. done with the show for today, guys. And just I don't think we've done anything. Another fr well, no. Did we do anything? We had fun, we Opie. Did. I know we had we fun. We learned a lot. We uh, we almost got Eric arrested. True. Listen for that in the replay. Mm -hmm. I think that was the highlight of the show today. That was fun. There were a lot of highlights, I guess. Yeah, that security guard was out of line. You can't grab a guy's dick and start checking for shit. You really like that song, don't How you? How can you not? It's classic. All right. Well, why don't we play, uh, what did we learn on the Opie and Anthony show today? Where's Voss? I don't know. He's smoking somewhere. Smoking or sleeping. Yeah. Smoking, all depressed that he had a bad appearance. Where is he? His appearance was fine. It was fine. He's probably smoking out the window. He's so addicted. He really smokes He's got to stop. He really does smoke a lot. What an ass. Rich. I don't mean his behavior. I mean, have you seen him? <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> We're all giddy now. Uh, Rob from giddy. Long Island, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? First, I want to say thank you for picking me for the sticker stop tomorrow. Oh, cool. Well, where's the sticker stop tomorrow on that uh, line? Egg, exit 69 South on the LIE tomorrow. Jesus, dude. I'll be there from 6 to 8. Tomorrow. Why don't you pick a populated area? <clears throat> Well, that's where no, that's where my road stop is. I drive a coffee truck. So. All right, if you're in the area, please stop by and get a Wow sticker from Rob. So what's but, uh, up? Okay, I learned that uh, that voice doesn't own an iPod because he's afraid the needle's gonna skip. <laughs> Very good. I have one to read from someone. All right, cool. go ahead. This is from Fast Freddy in Jamaica Station. The real shit dick is Tippy Tom. <laughs> yeah. Oh God! True. Thanks for the visual, Dave. What's going on? How you doing? Okay, Anthony. It's only this, not that. It's only this, not that, right? Uh, this or this, this or this. Oh wow! This, good, 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 good. It's that. Johnny from Tennessee. What's up, Johnny? Where were you? Johnny. You, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Tennessee. Maybe the guy's name isn't even Johnny. He has a good one. He wants to say Everqueer ants a shit dick. I am not a shit dick with Everqueer. Not at all. Let's go to Mitch from Jersey. Well, I got my wizard robe last night. Hey, I'm very I learned it. Uh, hello. Yeah. Good. I learned that uh, Tommy Lee used to bang Pamela Lee Majors. Oh, that's uh, that's a good one. We did learn that today. Thank you. All right, take her easy. You know, I didn't even get the fact that Pamela Lee tied it with Tommy Lee till he just said that. What a great reference that was that you did. Oh, thank you. I, I, was, just thinking, it? I was just thinking Farrah Fawcett. I didn't catch the like the name Lee. Right. God, damn, that was My great. pal is brilliant. That thank was a you, really Jimmy. good one, man. God damn. Just sit back and enjoy when he gives you that type of material. Bob, you know, you're acting up? like a real. What? Ne? What? No. Shit dick. Shit. What? Shit dick. You're not in the. You're shit dick. Bob, what's up? Oh my God, Bobby, help Bob. us out. You know, Maybe you should Bob. touch his arm and go, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Get the same response. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? None. I gotta tell you, the listeners get like a C minus today. Yeah, especially for what have we learned? They have really slowed down the program. They yeah. have no clue when they're on the air, when they're not. Uh, Rich, the legacy. What's up, Rich? Yeah, guys, I learned that uh, Rich Voss needs a director to make him funny. <laughs> oh. Do I? That means we get we all get the phone calls later. You don't think I was that bad on the show today, do you? Well, you're not going to kill every day. Boss is very do. funny. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to kill every day. We it's, all know you're funny. It doesn't matter. My job was to bring air, air juice in today. 
Air juice? What the hell what is air juice? juice? What is air, air juice? From my ear. But you said air. That. You said, said air ear. juice. What's an air, air juice? juice? Air juice. Is that kind of like an heirloom, but that's when you leave that gunk for your kids? Ear. <laughs> ear, whatever. Ear, Michael O.J. Jordan, his air juice. George no. from Jersey. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Thought it was funny. That's good. George. <laughs> See, the guy's laughing. Uh, it was good. Oh, oh, good. Thank you. I got one from the caller. Just because we're in a coma in the studio doesn't mean someone out there is not laughing. Don't worry What's about it. What's on your mind, shit dick? Go ahead, George. <laughs> George. I learned today that mother hens protect their ducklings. Nice. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for remembering that one. You got it. All right. A lot of Jersey callers. We like Jersey. They're dependable. I'll say. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, I learned that little Jimmy's new nickname is shit chest. <laughs> Very nice. Mark from upstate New York. Hello, how you doing, guys? All right. Learn Jigaboo is a very fun song to sing, and I was wondering if you checked behind Ben's eye patch yesterday. Oh, very good reference. Ooh, no, I think wow. Ben was really sick. Ben was really yeah. sick. Yeah, Duke, what's going on? Yeah, I learned that uh, Tony Danza was in the show nowadays, huh? Yeah, a bunch of people over at the Danza show seem to uh, listen. Yeah, to I want to say hi to everyone at the Tony Danza show that listens to the Opie and Anthony Doing show. Doing a good job. On XM Satellite Radio. Doughboy, I learned that there are cowboys' balls over at the driving range, and Anthony's girlfriend dresses him. Yes. Uh, Spikilia. <laughs> Check already. it in already. I learned that a towel is definitely not a hat, and that Freddy Krueger is a shit dick. <laughs> I don't know about that, though, huh? Boston Strangler from WackBag.com. I learned today that if you get caught in the Danza line, run! Run! Run, Eric, run! Ed, run! Can I get Ed C. from New York? I learned that Jim McGreevy is a shit dick. <laughs> Fidel from New York. I learned that the old NEW sports guys will be fired for having sex in a church. That's actually a very good one. And Joe from uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. I learned that Voss's next appearance will be in My Left Ear, co-starring Daniel Day-Lewis. Mm. You want to plug anything, Voss? Uh, DVD. RichBoss.com, very funny. Hey. Read the write-up on cringe humor. And you can get it. I'll be. I'm at the downtown the 23rd of December. Show's over. Program complete.